which we have handled, which we have seen with our eyes, rubbed against. This is the word of truth. We have not followed cunningly devised fables. Oh, yes. We were eyewitnesses of this thing. We walk in Bible, but we have seen the Lord. Our eyes have seen the Lord. I don't know about you. When you have become a supernatural Christian, God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. 100 percent true. true. I saw German written on your forehead like German. 10 October. Yes. 1981. Do it. You know me and you know everything. <laughs> if I be a prophet of God, miracle money now. Declare miracle money. There's 55,000 in his bank account. How much is this? But I only had Supernatural weight loss. Somebody who is sick can just be healed like that. Yes. This is the good news we preach. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction. And always worth hearing. I want you to see something in Genesis chapter number one. And I'll read in verse number one. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. We can take our seats. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The subject we have today is the subject that is not common. And I don't want to be preaching it. But the Bible says in the book of Corinthians, we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. Since we are not ignorant, it actually tells us that Paul is confessing that he himself is not ignorant. <laughs> it says, lest Satan should take advantage. We are not ignorant of his devices. That means every attack you have first is because of ignorance. Now you're not hearing what I'm trying to say. So uh, it is not like me to talk about what the devil can do. Because my idea is to give to you what we can do. But the scripture says we are not ignorant of his devices. Notice he didn't just say weapons, he says devices. You see, when you get to technological advancement, you talk about technological gadgets. So the Bible is saying we are not ignorant of his gadgets. If we are not ignorant, that means he tried to hide it. That means the attacks and the weapons of the devil are very strategic. They are not for the common man to, de to decipher. Spiritual things are foolishness to men of the flesh. Since the carnal men cannot understand them, for they are spiritually designed. <laughs> so most of humanity suffers because the devil knows how to hide because he uses devices. If you want to steal from somebody's house and they have all these things and, and gadgets and cameras and, and dogs to add to the list, you don't call the dogs and give them uh, poison and say, come, come, come here. Here is poison, and the dog starts to take in that poison. No, you create a good steak. <laughs> then you inject poison in the middle. Then you say, so he thinks he's about to take what? And he gets the poison. So the Bible says the devil hid everything. But those who are spiritual are not ignorant of his devices. But it's one thing to tell you you're not ignorant when you're actually ignorant. <laughs> Do you understand that um, a spiritual man can tell you with what you have done, you will see me. And never do anything to you. Never come to you physically. Never even come to your house. Never visit you. Never even call you. But within a few days... They 
will call you and ask you, what happened to your leg? You say, I don't know. I just came out of my house. And all of a sudden, it's this big. The pain is getting to my ribs. And the doctor says, they don't know what hit me. Then you say, but, 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 brother, brother, so and so said, you will see me. Then when you go back to what brother so and so said, you realize brother so and so when you got the problem, brother so and so who gave you that thing? Was it a prayer meeting somewhere? So for you to even put the blame on him, you think he's a Christian. The Bible says some have crept in and aways. Some brothers and sisters have crept in and aways. Used of the enemy but they are in church. Use of the enemy, but they are preaching. Use of the enemy, but they pretend to prophesy. Use of the enemy, but they are saying that he will seek. Use of the enemy because they are devices. La Bible dit que nous ne sommes pas ignorants des ruses du diable. Il est stratégique. En d'autres termes, l'homme charnel ne peut pas comprendre ce que le diable fait parce qu'il essaie toujours de cacher les ruses qu'il amène vers toi. Il est impossible de donner une raison à un serpent ou bien à un chien sans qu'on le cache dans la viande. So Il a toujours utilisé des ruses pour cacher et ne pas faire ce qu'il est en train de faire. Parce qu'il sait que tu ne peux pas comprendre. In one scripture, I don't want to go in there because it will take me a month to even try and unpack that. It says these, and God showed me that these are the men that cause mischief in the city. Oh, imagine problems happening in the city and in the country and two men were causing it. And God said, you see what? That is the person. Look at Paul calling a man and saying, those two magicians you heard in the Old Testament, forget up them. They, you were never told their name, but they are Janus and Jambres. Where did you get that information? There is a spiritual realm you can decipher information and you unpack the playbook of the enemy. But the enemy is not as carnal as you think he is. Il y a un monde spirituel où tu peux comprendre, déchiffrer et downloader toutes les informations du monde spirituel. Can you draw the devil? The impression that they give is a horned guy. Here the Bible confesses that the, the, all the beauty that God could master, you put it on one creature. To the extent that God himself, he says, thou sealest up the sum. When we calculate all the beauty and everything symmetric, wow. you, you seal up the sum. You close the books of beauty. <laughs> Quand on te dit de dessiner le diable, tu peux penser peut-être à un monstre avec des, 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 des cornes. Mais en réalité, c'est la plus belle personne devil, que tu n'as jamais créé. Wow. <laughs> You've been told he has got horns. God himself said, Thou sealest up the psalm. Do you understand when you, when you want to kind of put that King James mentality into place? All right? Are you getting this? Yes. Now, watch this. Ezekiel 28, 12. What does it say? Look at this. It says, Son of man, take up the lamentation upon King of Tyre. Yes, sir. Say unto him what? Thou says the Lord. Thou sealest up the psalm. Full of wisdom, perfect in beauty. No, no, he's not beautiful. When you take what is beautiful, when it comes to become perfect, that's Satan. Il est tellement beau. Il a toute la totalité de la beauté. C'est en lui. Il n'est pas seulement beau. Il a toute la totalité de la beauté. And you give to your students and say, yeah, these ones, no one will get in to 100% this one. And the man gets in there and starts telling you mistakes you did in setting up the exam. <laughs> so the teacher comes and says, you close the whole book, man. It's useless. That's, it. That's what God said. You seal up the sum. When it comes to beauty. <laughs> You'll be wise in a few minutes. <laughs> Thou sealest up the sum. Perfect in beauty. 
Notice what it says. Full of wisdom. Not just wise. Full of it. Il n'est pas seulement intelligent, mais il a la sagesse. So the Bible simply says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. What you do not see in the Bible is exactly when God created the angels. But I want to bring a certain dimension you have not realized about the devil. So that within these few minutes, you can unpack his playbook and be able to know what your enemy is. You see, it is a very dangerous thing for an army not to study the enemy. But it's also an equally dangerous thing for the army to be equally obsessed about the enemy. Mm -hmm. And the devil is equally pleased. When people don't believe in him, and when people believe in him too much, he's okay with both extremes. Il est extrêmement dangereux pour une armée de ne pas étudier son ennemi. Mais c'est aussi dangereux lorsque l'armée est obsédée par Let me tell you something. The ability of God shall be unpacked to you today. La capacité de Dieu sera attachée sur toi aujourd'hui. Listen, you are so scared of this coming examination. You're just thinking it's going to be very, very difficult. And you get in there, everything you studied is there. You just be like, ah. 20 minutes you're already sitting down wondering, um, I'm finished. And it's supposed to be two hours. That's exactly what will happen after you listen to this. And you go like, that devil, oh! That's a whole, ah! That was his plan all along! <laughs> Glory be to God! Glory! Hear this. It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And I just want to deal with those scientists, people who don't understand science. Of course, what is called time-space continuum. It is a certain level in physics that tells you things have to occur simultaneously for things to appear. In other words, this is just in layman's terms. In other words, the book of Genesis, according to physicists, if they would read the book of Genesis and not understand it, they would leave saying God does not exist until they use their own laws of science to detect if this Bible is the wrong thing. Do you know what? That in the beginning, it says time, space, and matter. Go there. Time, space, and matter. That means these three have to exist at the same time for anything to exist. Now we have a problem because when you read the Bible, you won't see that until you get deeper in the Bible. And I'm not really trying to get there because I'm dealing with Lucifer. I'm sure Lucifer would not understand these things. In the beginning, time. The word beginning denotes time. God created the heaven, space. And he created the earth, matter. Now you have time-space continuum in the first verse of the Bible. It agrees with science. Les scientists say that pour que pour qu'il un commencement pour accepter la présence de Dieu ou bien l'existence de Dieu, il doit y avoir le temps, l'espace et la matière. Alors que en dans le livre de Genèse, la Bible dit que au commencement il y avait il y avait le ciel et la terre, il y avait le temps, l'espace et la matière. Angels were made. We intimate by just looking at it. We can say in the beginning. But the beginning here is not the beginning of God. Le début que nous voyons ici n'est pas vraiment le début de Dieu. And the heaven here is not where God stays. Because for you to be able to create heaven, you live somewhere else. Et le ciel n'est pas le ciel de Dieu. Where was God before he created the world? Where was God before he created the heaven? He created it. That means he was standing outside heaven and creating a beginning. That's why I call John 1 verse number 1 the first verse of the Bible. In the beginning was the word. It starts with something way before the earth. So when we see the beginning, we are seeing the beginning of the earth. But not the earth as you know. Then we go to the heavens. Inside that word heavens is the creation of angels. Everything 
that is in the heavens is something he created there he says if you look in the book of job you realize that even the angels were there when you were being created so you were in a creature created when god had already created angels that means angels were on earth angels were already assigned their positions and you came in in other words you are now superior than the angels because you he created the angels to work for you before you came in now hear this i know you're wondering what am i talking about because i was supposed to be talking about lucifer right now are you getting this la bible dit que il créa même les anges avant que toi tu ne sois formé chapter number 3 this is very important because why am i moving to chapter number 3 cuz that's where you start hearing of him now the serpent was more subtle are you getting this than any beast of the field which the lord god had made i want you to understand there was a real serpent but there was also the devil right there is where we part ways with many preachers that it will be a confusion for eve to speak directly to a snake so the devil simply copied the nature of the snake you you didn't hear me that's why even after the snake is punished you find that in the book of revelation he is still that old serpent that dragon i thought he was no longer a snake he came out of a snake how is he still carrying on as a snake when the snakes have already been because it's the nature he took anyway you didn't get that i want to pass by that because i'm not talking about it and he said unto the woman yea has god said you shall not eat of every tree notice the bible does not say of any tree or of the tree in the middle of the garden he said of every tree in other words he didn't know immediately as i've always said something that runs faster than an email is called a female <laughs> immediately the devil said no 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 he didn't say that now the devil is beginning to unravel everything that was secretive to them their privileges were now being laid bare to the enemy without knowing them you know sometimes you can actually begin to tell your enemy something that they should never know so sometimes just go in secret get your money in secret get your men in secret get your lady in secret i talk to somebody now have you ever been to somebody's office who likes fishing and you see a fish kind of i don't know what they call them a mummified sort of they have a certain name that they use and you see it on the wall do you know what happened to that fish yes, it opened its mouth yeah. sit down <laughs> now it's just taking time to get some people here are getting it but some that side doesn't no that side is all, only my brother there's getting it everyone is like lost ouvert sa bouche au moment où tu ouvres où il a ouvert sa bouche if the fish didn't want to come out of the water shh. La seule chose qui fait sortir du, du, du le poisson Don't de tell nobody anything. Sa bouche, ne dis rien. Let success to the noise. Que le succès crée le bruit. Let your success speak. Que ton succès. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Let that farm speak, let that business speak, let that car speak, let that mansion speak, let that wedding speak, let that party speak, let that degree speak, let that holiness speak, let that Laisse que les choses, le succès, la grandeur, l'élévation parle. Let success make the noise. Laisse que ton succès crée un bruit. When we come here and we tell you we just bought something in america for this amount for these millions uh-huh. you think that was the day we bought it no. weeks and months of negotiating we were not telling you <laughs> some of you are stopped by the people you tell you think everyone is going to be like wow you know what brother so and so just told me 
that they are about to buy a five million house. Wow. Immediately you tell them, say, why would you need a five million house? Why? <laughs> they will be like, wow, wow, wow. Just two minutes later, they're already talking nonsense. And then they make sure. They put obstacles. Even their words are obstacles in the spirit. Certains d'entre vous sont stoppés par les amis à qui vous racontez vos histoires. À chaque fois que tu ouvres ta bouche, tu incites les gens à parler des choses contre toi, ce qui affecte le Jesus monde. Jesus would walk like this and say, "Tell no one." He would do an extreme miracle and say, "Tell nobody." <laughs> they would crucify him before the time. Jésus disait à des gens quand il y avait des miracles de ce terre. Pourquoi? Parce qu'il ne voulait pas qu'on le crucifie avant le temps. Before the resurrection, he was going to sit on the throne after resurrection, but they gave him the crown. And they said, "We should call you king of the Jews when he was king of the whole universe." People might crown you, and you think you are actually making it. No, say, they've removed a lot. I remember one. One, one, one acquaintance of mine who knows my house. So he was on some place and he started talking to people that, look, um, Angel has um, a house, a very big house with a garden of 13 acres. I called him. I have his phone, so I called him. I said, where did you put my two acres? Because they are 15. <laughs> Somebody under the influence of my voice. <laughs> Your money will come all of it. Your prosperity will come all of it. Your healing will be all of it. The enemy has an experience in limiting your progress. You will show him a Lamborghini when he reports it. Says it's a blue car. Show him a seven bedroom house. You go say, I, I don't remember the bedrooms. Maybe four or three. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. I feel this thing all over me. I feel this. Has God said? You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And I want to show you the real reason why the devil deceived Adam and Eve. It is not what you think. It is not what you have heard preachers talk about. <laughs> and the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Mm -hmm. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden. Notice here, the word midst does not mean to say it is actually center. No, you're getting it. It means the point of focus. Okay. I know you didn't believe me. Let me show you something. Ezekiel, chapter 31, verse 1. And it came to pass in the 11th year, in the third month, in the first day, uh, of the month and the word of the Lord came unto me saying mm -hmm. son of man speak unto Pharaoh king of Egypt and his multitude whom art thou like in the greatness are you, are you getting this mm, behold the Assyrian who is the Assyrian the devil so the devil would take on the form the prince of Persia the king of Assyria the king of Tyre the Grecian prince what is happening? The devil is taking forms. If it is even in Isaiah. Are not all my princes presidents or kings? In other words, the devil is saying, I use presidents. You vote for a hyena and wonder where the gods have gone. You didn't hear me. I just talked to you and some people are not getting me. <laughs> He said, and all my princes, the people I use, are they not all kings? Are they not presidents? Now hear this. It says, behold the devil, the Assyrian, was a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches. What is he talking about? <laughs> You're not getting it. With a shadowing shroud and of a high stature and his top was among the thick balls. Let's go. 
Are you get it? The waters made him great. The deep set him up on high with the rivers running around in his, about his plants. Uh, you, some people know, know rivers. And send out her little rivers and all the trees of the field. Here they, we go. Therefore, his height was exalted above all the trees of the field and his boughs were multiplied and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters when he is shot forth. Let's go. And the fowls of heaven made their nests in the bowl. Under the branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young. And under his shadow dwelled all the nations. Let's keep going. Thus was he fair in his greatness and in the length of his branches. For his root was by the great waters. Are you getting this or you have gone home? Are you getting this? The cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. And the fair trees were not like the boughs. And the chestnut trees were not like the branches. Nor any tree of the garden of God. Which was the garden of Eden. Was unlike unto him in his beauty. Thou sealest up the sum. So the Bible is telling you. That the devil is mentioned to be a tree. No, you didn't get it. You, you, so you're missing that. All right, let's go to verse number nine. Some people are taking their time. Because you don't want, you might be thinking, I'm, I'm just giving the garden of God. Let's go. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches so that all the trees of Eden So all you see are two trees. This is why people start asking, what kind of fruit was it that Adam and Nah, I, I'm talking to myself. This, this is this. Uh. So the average Christian, when he sees the Garden of Eden, he is seeing trees in the middle. Did Jesus say, I am the vine? What is Jesus calling himself? A tree. <laughs> and you are the branches. I tell you the truth, it wasn't a tree. That's why the Bible says Jesus is the tree of life. So in the center, there was the tree that represented the devil and there was a tree that represented Christ. All Adam and Eve had to do was to take Christ, they took the devil. That's it. En d'autres termes, dans le jardin d'Eden, il y avait un arbre qui représentait le diable et you un arbre qui représentait Dieu. Ce que Adam et Ève devraient faire, c'était juste de choisir le bon arbre pour avoir la vie éternelle. We can, we can keep going. I will go this tree, that tree, this tree. Uh -huh. He said all the trees that were in the garden envied him. They were looking at his beauty. And Ezekiel told us, thou sealest out the sun, perfect in beauty. The, the tree. Which one was the tree? The Assyrian. Who is the Assyrian? The devil. Go back to Genesis 3. <laughs> Theologians are arguing, was he a peach, an apple, a mango. <laughs> My Indian <laughs> friends would have gone for mangoes. Les théologiens même eux se demandent si c'était un arbre de mangue ou bien autre chose. Mais en réalité, nous savons maintenant ce que c'était. Depending on where you come from, ah, this is your best fruit. People are arguing. This it should be a mango. It's an apple. Some have said now it's a fig. It's a fig tree, not fig fruit. Yeah. And the Bible says it's a person. Who is the tree of life? So why do you want to see branches and leaves? Why? He says you are the branches. And the Bible says by the magnitude of his branches, he became too proud. Par la magnitude de ses branches, il est devenu I have a strange feeling. Somebody here is hearing me.
supernatural power of the believer. Discover the secrets to growing in the five dimensions of God's power. Order your copy of this best-selling book with over 100,000 copies sold by Hubert Angel from the Amazon Kindle Store or visit our online shop at www.hubertangel.org. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with Hubert Angel, please visit www.hubertangel.org. The demon of poverty is more powerful than prayer and fasting combined. If the demon of poverty was not more powerful than prayer and fasting combined, Africa should be the richest continent on earth, human being. If a demon goes out of a person, it goes to the dry lands. And when it does not find rest, it comes back. Dry lands cannot mean Dubai, Kuwait, and all this. Because if dry lands meant desert, then Dubai should be poorer than you know where. But it's so amazing. Demons find Find a location with no worship team, with no prophet, with no pastor. And they sit there saying, it's not comfortable here. It's too hot. Let's go back to the Christians, my house. Who is in a church who worships, prays, fast, and calls that Christian, my house. Defeating the Demon of Poverty by Hubert Angel. How to break free from the spirit of lack. Hard copy available now from the Good News Store app or order from Amazon Kindle or at www.hubertangel.org. But the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, you shall not surely die. Now, immediately you think the devil was trying to deceive Adam and Eve. No, sir. No. No, he was telling them the truth. But what they didn't understand is the devil only speaks truth if he wants to. You know when the truth is being told by a liar. You know you should always be careful when you know this person is a liar. But today only this circumstance is telling the truth. Something is wrong when the devil begins to speak a truth. Ah! Lorsqu'un menteur commence people, à dire la vérité, people think the devil is going antichrist. You know when you hear antichrist, I will tell you what it means. Antichrist does not mean against Christ. It means before Christ. Okay, what it means is this? It means stand. You'll be the devil today. L'antichrist ne veut pas dire contre Christ, so mais c'est avant Christ. Jesus, right? It's me. We know Jesus is tall. Now. I will not say it. So relax. <laughs> so he is standing there. And when he stands facing me, he's against me. So the word antichrist does not mean say, someone who goes against Christ. It means instead of Christ. Le mot antichrist ne veut pas quel dire quelqu'un qui est contre Christ. Mais so all he is trying to do is to take the position of Christ. Tout ce qu'il fait, c'est juste vouloir prendre la position in a few ou bien la place de Christ. Let's get back to Genesis. And the serpent said to the woman, you shall not surely die. His issue was not to actually stop him. Marika to cover. Viruta lisa tobale krokosatevo. All you wanted to do to the devil is I know something God knows. Hidden in that message is I know if you eat you will be like God. Who says that unless he has experience? So now when they hear him say that, they're like oh, so this guy knows. That means he has eaten the tree. That means he is like God now. The whole plan of the devil from eternity past to eternity future, although it's not eternity past for him, 
is for him to present himself in the position of God. When he shows them, I am like God. I have eaten the fruit. I know exactly what it feels like. So you guys, you are not being lied to. He is not interested in Adam and Eve falling. He is interested in Adam and Eve realizing he is like God. For you said you will ascend and become like the Most High. All he wants to do in your life is to present himself as the God. Ah. So, 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 so you might think I worship God but I go to the club I worship God but I still small I worship God but I curse every day he is not worried about those things he is only worried about you leaving the principles of God until you begin to worship the thing you give time to so your cursing becomes your God your clubbing becomes your God I don't know if you're getting this. In your head, it's not a problem. It's just, it's not bad at all. <laughs> and the devil himself knows my issue is if I present myself and come in front of you, you will know who I am. So what I will do is I will look at your lusts. You are not getting me. And I want to bring some truth here that you are not getting. Job 1 6. Woo. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before God, and Satan came also. Huh? How? The Bible says, For I beheld Satan falling like lightning. He fell, but he is found in heaven when the sons of God are called. This is called power of atoning. Where he told Adam and Eve, lose your position. Listen to me as God. And when they did that, he took over as Adam. So he now has Adamic authority by committing high treason, selling out the creator to the creature. So all of a sudden, the power of Adam is now transferred into the devil. So God himself being a God of his word, he cannot prevent the devil from accessing heaven. Why? Because when he comes along, notice the Bible does not say an Adam was there. It was Satan. Because Satan is the ability to climb up, to go up, but he has no ability to take over from God. But what he had the ability to do was to take over from Adam and Eve. So when he appears, God knows that's the devil. But right now he is using Adamic authority. So the devil is dangling Adam's authority to be present before him. Your own creature gave me the power. So I'm allowed to be here. So in the meeting of the sons, Adam is there in the form of the devil. So the fall of Adam is the rise of the devil. You're missing it now. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came with Adamic authority he appeared. And notice here, and you will thank me for gen generations if you listen to me carefully. This one, listen no matter where you are. Listen, now the devil is in two ways. His battle is for the throne of God and his battle is to take over the earth. The Bible says, for he said I will go up. Notice here. He said, I will go up. That tells us his position. He's on earth. But all he wants is to get. So the only way to go up is to use Adamic authority. But Adamic authority is temporary. It has to come back here. So the only thing he can do now is since the son of God is here. Listen to this. Listen to this. Since human beings are on earth. He knows he can't go to tempt God in heaven. No, no, you're missing it now. He cannot go to tempt God in heaven because now he has already gained one access. And the access he gained was the access to take Adamic authority. Now he wants God's authority to be taken. 
He has no other plan. The only plan he has is to make all men fall. Because he knew if all men fall, they will not be allowed to ascend because they have no ability to ascend for no man has gone into heaven to see. No, no man has ascended into heaven. You, you're, getting, you're getting it right? You're getting it. So all he could do was to tell you, do that sin. Do this. Mess up God. Do this. Do this. And he knew the love of the creator that he will go down the stairways of heaven and come down to earth. Now when he's on earth, I control. So I will find out what his last is. And when I find the last of the son of God, if I manage to tempt him right well, I'll be able to take over also and become like the son of man and replace the son of man like I replaced Adam. I feel like you're not hearing me. Sit down. I'm just talking to myself. I feel this whole thing is not... So when Jesus came down, he began to look and said, he took him to the high tall mountain. He says, look at the kingdoms. All the devil is looking is he's looking at the last of Jesus. What are the lasts? The moment he lasts after this, I slide in. And all of a sudden, God cannot prevent me. Listen, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Because you realize something. You realize something that the devil was not the devil. The devil is an employment sleep. It's a, it's a job description. It means the one who pounces and pounces until he breaks through. It's not his name. His name is called Lucifer. And the word Lucifer simply means something. Simply means light. This is the reason why when they were talking about um, uh, 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 this COVID vaccine, they said for us to know you are vaccinated. We have a technology we created called Luciferes. I have a problem with your technology matching my Bible and the Antichrist. I have a problem. I don't have a problem with you telling me there is a medication. Just don't name it with the same name. And don't inject me on the same position that the Bible says. Oh, you sit, you, you sit down. <laughs> so now he has captured Adam. The only thing that he's left with is to capture Jesus. Adam has agreed. He and his wife are gone. He has already taken it. In fact, when, when the devil was talking to God, he said, I will give you the kingdoms of the earth. For they have been delivered to me. He didn't say for you delivered it to me because it wasn't Jesus who handed it. It is the Adam and that Eve. So he says they were delivered to me. Where? In the Garden of Eden. So they are all mine. But what I can access is your throne in heaven. <laughs> and here is the problem. In the book of Revelation, God is sitting on the throne. And the Bible says, on the right side of God. And I saw a book which no man could read. On the right side of the God, Jesus is sitting on the throne. Now, right side does not mean right side. It means place of power. My right hand man. The book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse number 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne, a book written and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. Now, all of a sudden, you look at it and you start realizing that the devil is also privy to the information that there is a book to be opened. And watch what happened. Watch what happened. So you can understand the curriculum vitae of spirits. They were required. Ah. And I saw a strong and proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book, to lose the seals thereof. Notice here, every time you hear that the serpent, the snake, it's not like God called him that. The devil is constantly looking for other names. This Assyrian, because his main idea is never to be treated as an angel. Oh, I talk to myself. Oh, the devil doesn't want to be called an angel. <laughs> he wants to be something greater.
better than angels. But the problem is, he is a cherub, not a seraphim. And a cherub is the second level of demons. This is the reason that if you go to Germany, you understand that even Hitler was not even a big general. He was a common soldier who rose through the ranks fast and became that thing. The devil does not use what you use. He uses the one you are not suspecting. He's, you know, that. Because that, that. His, his tactic is to do exactly what God does. Look at it. That if you want to check where the equator and all this pass, you, you, you go to Israel. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go to Israel and you see the geographical position of Israel. You will be shocked wow. and how tiny it is. And God said, this one. It will shock you. So the devil being a cherubim, he has a problem. He's a second class angel. And the seraphim are there. The seraphs are there rather. Because one is seraphim, two seraphs. Now, so you have all this thing that is taking place. So you look at it and go, wait a minute, what is the devil trying here? What he's trying to do is to say to the devils, all these angels, I'm bigger than an angel. So the teaching of angels is very, very weak in the church. And every Christian, this is the reason why he has clouded your eyes. That the Bible says in the book of Revelation, anoint with your eyes with eye sorrow. Listen to me carefully. This is the reason he doesn't want you to open your eyes to see angels. He wants you to think they are special. Because that's his class. Yet the Bible says, aren't all angels, ministering spirits, sent to minister for not two. In other words, angels are your maids and garden boys. I talk to myself now. But when a Christian sees an angel, it is a testimony Sunday. Hey, imagine waking up in your house, waking up, and you walk towards your kitchen and you see the maid cooking. And you go like, I will give a testimony. Dans le désert, dans le désert, lorsque le Imagine diable a tenté Jésus, euh, tout see, ce qu'il lui disait, c'était « Demande de moi et je te donnerai, adore-moi et je te donnerai le royaume du monde. » Le royaume du monde n'a pas été donné au diable, par du, au diable par Dieu, mais il a été donné au diable par Listen, la loi adamique. Lorsque God Adam et Ève ont vendu leur autorité, elle les lui a donné. Qu'est-ce qu'on veut dire par là Tout ce que le diable veut, c'est prendre la place de Dieu parce qu'il a déjà pris l'autorité de l'homme. C'est pour cela qu'il est capable d'aller devant Dieu et de, de se présenter à la place où Adam et Ève devraient se présenter. Il n'est même pas dans la première What classe des anges. Il est dans la deuxième Monday, classe des anges Monday, qui s'appelle des chers Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Where are the workers? Wouldn't you fire them? Now imagine your miserable life. Where the whole year is gone. Since you became a Christian, 18 years, you have not seen your maid. Ah. And all the trouble you went through, and yet your maid was there, your God was there. Mm. The ones that go to take resources were there, and you're broke like this. It's all because the lies of the enemy. He has told you angels are high up. The Bible says it this way, and it's not lying. The Bible says it this way. Don't you know you will judge angels? Most Christians, when they think of the judgment day, they think we are going to be queuing up like, yes, next. <laughs> next. <laughs> and God is sitting on the throne and you hear him angry. He put his gavel on. <laughs> Aquila, to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Aquila is shaky. <laughs> now my sister who was an usher sees the Ah, this is a CEC member going to hell. Like, God, don't worry. I know where to go. <laughs> you have done enough for me. I'm just going to hell. My, my, my CEC member is going. I'm going there. Yeah. Of course, there will be some generals who will be brave. Like, ah, we told them these are quillers. We told them. We go. <laughs> they were playing with God. I'm, I'm going to face him. I will explain some few things. <laughs> 
You know, on that judgment day, if, if some Christians are going to go there, ah, they will do a lot. Yeah. Imagine God is sitting there and the queue is going like, this one like. <laughs> you want to be nice to God so that when you arrive, <laughs> things are fixed. <laughs> The Bible is not saying that's what we are going to be doing. God will be sitting there on the throne. And guess where you'll be? On the right hand. Saying, Gabriel, stand here. Who is this one? It's Michael. Okay. He <laughs> says, we shall judge angels. The Bible says, we shall judge angels. The Bible says, we shall judge angels. Do you know how easy to see angels? It becomes whenever you understand they are people you will judge. They are entities you will judge. I saw a strong angel proclaiming who is worthy immediately. That's where the devil should have given his curriculum vitae. His CV was supposed to come out there. But the devil said, ah, we are not the ones. That means the devil knew I'm not even worthy to open a book. There are spirits because of that statement. Spirits who are angry at the devil. Because they listened, one third of the angels listened when he uttered his manifesto. He wrote his book and said, this is my manifesto. And I will show you the manifesto in a few minutes. Oh, you will be shocked. <laughs> I'm going to show you his manifesto in a few minutes. I will show you exactly what, because he had five points only. He produced a strong five points that all the angels said, yeah, you're right. We follow you. They are in the Bible. Lorsque la Bible dit dans le livre d'Apocalypse, qui est digne d'ouvrir ce livre de vie? Même le diable n'a pas été capable de se lever pour se présenter et dire, et, et dire je suis, je suis incapable d'ouvrir le livre de to vie. Go against God until everyone who saw God, there are creatures in heaven that just come crying, holy, 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 holy. At one time I asked the Lord, why do they always shout holy? He said it's not that they are saying I'm holy, although I am. Since they are shocked. Because every time I show them another side of me, they never saw before. So every second they look and it looks like light. They say, holy. Then he looks red. He says, ah, holy. Holy. Hey, hey, holy. 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 Hey. Holy. Hey. Les anges qui sont au ciel et qui disent, tu es saint, tu es saint, tu es saint. Ils disent cela parce qu'à chaque fois qu'ils élèvent la tête et qu'ils ont Dieu, il y a une autre face. With the way I like rhythm, I like order. Do you think I wanted to create robots? He said, no. What I was trying to do, what I was trying to do is to get to a point where nobody will repeat a song. New songs will come on. He said, this is not a song. They are actually amazed at how our mouth faceted. Said so they have been saying holy. It's shock. Who did you think? You see another person who is so handsome. You can't just be like holy. 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 Every day, no matter how beautiful they are. Holy. Holy. After three years, they get old. Holy. So when I see people saying, holy, holy, I go like, no, that's not. They are literally going, holy. Another one goes, holy, holy. That's why I tell you, no one is ugly. Do you see the face you are, we you are, you are, you are wearing now? This is the face of God when you were born. Yes, so you see. That very second you came out, that's what you looked like. You, 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 you. Lorsque les anges crient, Then when we came to earth, we were told that beauty is like this, beauty is like that, beauty is like this. So when we look at people now, we have to change the color we have. Um, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Le visage que tu as, c'est aussi le visage de Dieu. Now there is a cream to make you a ham. You, you, you understand? And God is wondering. Ah. You are distorting the face I looked at on the 13th of June, 1500 hours, uh, two seconds and two milliseconds. That's the face I had. The angels, when he saw that face, he said, Holy! Holy! And I'm reproducing myself in my children. And now you have told yourself by Hollywood that if you are like this, you are like this, like this. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Le visage que tu as, c'est le visage de Dieu parce qu'il s'est reproduit en toi. Mais il y a des personnes qui veulent changer leur visage, ressembler à autre chose me. qui n'est pas Dieu. Lorsque les anges disent, I look like God. I look like God. <laughs> dis, je ressemble à Dieu. So, there were two ways. You either get your information through life or through light. <laughs> Angels cannot get information through life. Life is not the substance by which angels live. They live by light. This is the reason why so many times we equate God to light. Because we don't realize light is exactly what we think he is because we are used to a thing called light on earth. You know, if light is the only thing we know how to evaluate when we see you, even if you produce a certain radiance that we have never seen, we think it's light. No, 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 no. I'm talking to myself now. Imagine going to Burger King. I don't know what that is. Just go minister to me. <laughs> and you go and buy a whoop meal. Whoop. You see that, that, that thing, right? I just heard it now. I, 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 by the way you are reacting, it is a real thing on earth, I think. <laughs> and you are told the price. I don't know what price it is. You are told the price. And you look at it, you analyze it. You will go like, wow. Test it. I think that's why it's called king. <laughs> then you go to Mars. You arrive. Oh. They say, we want to take you to, to where we, we produce our pork. Say, so let's go. You go there, you see all the beggar kings, the whopper mills, whopper mill, whopper mill, whopper mill, and the, the pigs are eating. They say, This is what we feed pigs here. Yeah. It's an example, by the way. <laughs> now, that means in that realm, the thing you think is the best thing is the thing they feed their waste animals. So if somebody comes from Mars and enter this realm and sees beggar king, what would they think? They think, okay, so where are they? Where are they? So they take, so everyone buys here one pig will eat one. If they see you getting into the drive through and buying one, they'll be like, oh wow, these people are very stingy. Buy one beggar, one whopper for, for a pig. In mass, they eat 5, 20, or 30 for them to per day. You see, realms differ. And the things that are in those realms differ. Imagine gold that we kill each other for. The Bible says it is lining up the streets of heaven as asphalt. In heaven, they're not looking at it. It's concrete. Lors pour laquelle les gens s'entretuent aujourd'hui, la Bible dit que au ciel, c'est sur un pavé, c'est sur un sentier que l'on marche sur l'or. Seeing Christians being killed for gold. They're like you're killing each other for rod. <laughs> Watch the what they say is the crystal river. That crystal river is not crystal like a uh, uh, cubic zirconia. No, sir. No. All kinds of minerals, precious minerals, is water. Yeah. Since you go into Harrods there, it will be millions. One million, 1.2 million. And angels, if they come here, they'll be so, they'll be wondering. In fact, I had an opportunity in the realm of the spirit. I ended there and I saw angels being taught. School, the angels going to school. And as they were being instructed, one man of God, that I will not say here, was called from the earth to explain when he passed on, to explain to the angels what happens on earth. And as he was standing in front, you know the name if I call it right now. 
And he was standing in front. He said, you know, you're standing like on the podium like this, behind the podium like this. And the Lord said, explain to them how you win souls on earth. Because they don't know these things. So now he's explaining and explaining. And the angels are amazed and shocked. And then I saw angels fall. And they are holding their mouth like this in shock. And they were hit by shock that they fell. Wow. And I said, it was silence to me until I was drawn close. Not anyone said, come in that room. No, I just felt I'm allowed. And I was there. I didn't even walk towards it. I was there. The whole other information that he was with, I could hear. Only this part, I, they fell. And I wondered, how did they fall? I didn't hear the information prior to that. Then, as if it was a reverse thing that was rewinded, I heard him say, there are people that we go to minister to, to come to the knowledge of Christ. The angels were okay. Until the man of God spoke these words. You will, be, you will not even be amused if I say them. He said, there are some who don't believe that Jesus exists. <laughs> angels fell. Like, look, we were okay that they don't listen. But on you don't believe he exists? <laughs> Imagine what shocks angels. It's like you mean there are people who don't even believe he exists. It's like, yeah, there are people. So here it is. So there are two ways. Light. In him was life. And the life is the light of men. So life is what? But the light of the devil is not life. Life is simply the life, light of men. No, 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 no. In other words, that scripture is telling you that when the devils or the angels rather that fell or the angels anywhere that are alive right now and are doing nothing to oppose God are all for God cannot get light through life. <sighs> you're not hearing me. I feel like you're not getting it. I'm, I'm trying to make it very simple. Let me try to get it to my guys here. Now, so there is light that makes angels live to be alive, to walk, to do their job. Then there is life that makes us survive. So Adam and Eve were working on life. They were getting their existence through the life of Christ. The life of God. But the angels were getting it through light. But the life of God is turned into light. This is the reason why the entrance of the word gives us light. Because all creatures live by light. La Bible dit que la, la, la vie de Dieu produit la lumière. But our light. Oui. Mm -hmm. La Bible dit que la vie de Dieu produit I la lumière. I have no idea what we la, means. <laughs> mais la lumière ne peut pas produire la vie de Dieu. Le diable, les anges ont la lumière, mais ils ne peuvent pas avoir la vie de Dieu. Alors que nous les hommes, nous avons la vie de Dieu qui provient, la vie et la lumière de Dieu qui provient de Dieu lui-même. C'est pour cela que la Bible de dit que à l'entrée de la parole de Dieu, ça produit de la I lumière. Tu as la lumière et tu as la compréhension. And she's really doing it perfectly. I, I, I measure the language like that. I don't... This is it. <laughs> Now, are you getting what I'm trying to say? So there is light. Then there is life. Angels and men all survive by light. But the light sources are different. Spiritual Warfare by the best-selling author of Supernatural Power of the Believer, Hubert Angel. This book will show you how to enforce your God-given supernatural authority to neutralize demonic activity, 
how to overcome demonic strategies and deal with the devil. Get an expose of Satan's lies and trickery in this book, Spiritual Warfare by Hubert Angel. Available to order now at www.hubertangel.org. Genetics of Words, an Amazon bestseller by Hubert Angel. Learn how to recreate your world through the supernatural power behind your words. Get your copy of this riveting book that will transform your language. Available now at www.hubertangel.org or get a digital copy on Amazon Kindle. John, in him was life. In the angels also was life. <laughs> but the, our life gives us light. Are you getting this? But to the devils, I don't want to keep saying the devils because it also includes the ones that are alive that are not evil. That is also what? Light. But that light was obtained from trees. So the devil now becomes the source of that. To the point where lies. Okay, let me show you something. Revelation 12 verse number 3. It will get you somewhere. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold a great dragon. Having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Angels. Are you flowing? Yes, sir. Whose tail? What did I say? Whose what? You see when people say, you see that, you see? <laughs> Here it is. This is what you see. The devil, great dragon. His tail. The angels are waiting. One third of the angels fall. Isaiah 9, verse number 14. Therefore the Lord will cut off Israel's head and tail and branch and rush in what? In one day. 15. Hear this, sons and daughters. And the ancient and honorable, he is the head and the prophet that teacheth lies. He is the tail. So the tail is the lie. So by his lies, he got one third of the angels to leave with God. Yeah, sit down, sit down. So what did the devil do? He used lies. Now imagine if you just read and he drew a third of the stars of heaven. And the Bible tells us the stars are the angels. The stars of heaven. So you move around going like, yes. One third. Trust me. Trust me, he's tail. <laughs> so you can move around preaching nonsense. Yeah, the devil is, is, you know, sometimes he appears like a dragon with a tail. In fact, he did that when he was in heaven. How can, how are you allowed in heaven with a tail like that? <laughs> Two theologians were arguing. Please don't listen to what I'm about to say. <laughs> Two theologians were arguing. Who is the Antichrist? Is it Putin? Is it Biden? Is it Obama? So they were on and off, on, back and forth, back and forth, until one guy said, no, it's Prince Charles. <laughs> and one guy who was standing there said, no, 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 the devil has no ears that big. Anyway, forget about it. I'm, 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 The devil would be able to listen. <laughs> anyway, let's come back here. <laughs> he drew a third part 
of the stars of heaven did cast them to the earth. That means this dragon should have been in heaven as a dragon. No. He took the position in the character of a dragon. So whenever you see something taking the character, you're like, yes, it was a dragon. Then the whole movie, if you are creating a movie, you will create a big dragon in heaven. Going to the angels. <laughs> King Kong. What is that? Godzilla. Godzilla, yes, Godzilla. All these things I'm telling you, I'm getting them fresh from heaven. I don't know what Godzilla is. Lorsque la Bible dit qu'il il y avait un That's dragon joke, au okay. ciel, c'est pas qu'il était un dragon, mais il a pris le caractère, <laughs> la position et la forme d'un dragon. Ce n'est pas qu'il y avait un dragon au ciel, mais c'est juste le fait qu'il a pris la position, la forme et l'image, le caractère d'un dragon. But why did the devil come at all? He came based on one thing. Yes. Because there is something called the pre-Adamic race. What you see now, thinking Adam was the first man, you are lying to yourself. Okay, I don't want to go deep on this thing. And there were four creatures before the Lord, right? On the throne. What was one looked like what? An eagle. Another one? Another one? Another one? Like a man. Yet Adam was not created. Where did they get the face? Okay, you, you, you didn't get it. You didn't get it. Read the scriptures well in the book of Genesis. And he said, let us make. This is Moses saying, let us make a man in our image. That means there was a man who was not in his image. Lorsque Dieu, Dieu, Dieu dit, faisons un homme à notre image, c'est qu'il y avait un homme qui n'avait pas son image. I don't want to go there. I'm Dieu. trying not to go there. Let us make men. The other one they said, uh, what does a man look like? The man is already there. They already know what a man is. But this one will be in our image. So the man that exists there is not in the image. Now, you can try to argue with science. This Bible, according to science, and according to even theologians, the whole Bible from the book of Genesis, if you read to genealogy, it's very easy to know how many years. Less than 7,000 years. Yet your fossils have zinjanthropus. You, you might want, yes, we can argue on carbon dating. There is false fires because carbon dating, carbon dating sometimes, according to other scientists, it can only go maybe above 5,700 uh, years. Then it then kind of theorizes everything. Everything becomes a theory and a guesswork. But if, let's say, it is true, carbon dating, because carbon dating is very difficult. Let me try to explain to you in layman's terms. It simply means carbon content in an object. Hmm? So they measure the carbon content. But what if carbon enters there another way and you don't know it? You end up with billions of years before you wake up from that stupor. But let's agree with science. That definitely the earth is billions of billions of years. We agree with you scientists. If it is billions and billions of years, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. The problem is we are not disagreeing with you. Because the Bible has already told us that there is a man that was not in his image. And the Bible says, in the beginning, the, read, read it, put it there. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. I want you to see it. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Verse number two. I want you to, if you can, to put the word and. And the. Do you see that? That word is not even there in the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Earth was. Put the word was. It is the word higher. Let's go up. To be, become. Go back to the verse. We said be, become, right? And the earth became. So God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth became. That's before Adam came. The earth became. So when you read it in a normal Bible, the earth was. Like it was this condition. No, became. Something made it to be like this. Lorsque tu lis dans la version grecque, la terre est devenue forme et un vide. Elle uh, n'était pas still forme with you or you have gone Elle home. Est devenue forme et un oh, vide. some of you. You know when you leave this, if this, this is your first time in this church, grecque. you will leave every Sunday with a new degree in philosophy. <laughs> Doctorate. 
masters. <laughs> ah, PhD, DVD, anyway. <laughs> now hear this. The earth was, the earth became something forced it into this condition. So now the issue is to understand what caused it to be in that condition. Ah, let's go. And the earth became without form. That means it had a form. And something caused it to be. And darkness. The Bible says there is no darkness in God. No shadow of turning. That means now darkness covered. So the way there was light, darkness came. So something tragic happened there. <laughs> Upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God. Rahaf moved upon the face of the waters. It means to flatter in constant imagination of an outcome. So he wasn't just moving on top of the water. He was now strategizing what to do with the formless mass he had called the earth. So the book of Genesis will never give you the creation of the earth. As a matter of fact, you will not find the creation of the earth in the Bible. Okay. Let me try it here. Just this. There is nowhere in your Bible where you will find the creation of the earth. Tu ne trouveras pas dans ta Bible quelque part où on parle de la création de la terre. Okay, I'm waiting here. I want to give you ten thousand dollars, please. Uh, guys, prepare the money. Find where God created soil. What about rock? What about water? The book of Genesis is simply placing things God made. And the things that will fill in the vegetation and arranging the things that were there and separating the things. And he said, let there be light. In God is light. So if you say there is light, is this the earth being created? Not, nothing to do with the earth. Ah, then he divided the waters from the waters above. And the, did he create water? Tout ce que la Bible dit dans le livre de Genèse ah. concernant la création, c'est que Dieu a placé les choses qu'il avait déjà créées. Is that the earth? Please, read your creation account for six days. You will never see a rock being made. Tu ne trouveras no pas dans ta Bible made. quelque part où Dieu a créé le rocher, le sable ou autre chose. Only Il a juste placé dans l'espace ce qu'il avait créé. That's it. The earth was already there in the book of Genesis chapter number one. Put it up there. And the earth was without form and void. Did he say the thing that was not there became the earth? No. And what does God say? Let's go. And God said, let there be light. Is light part of the earth? You can want to say it is. I'm talking about this old rock. That's why it's not going anywhere. The Bible says world without end. Oh, the world is about to end. <laughs> Relax. World without end. That is, let's read it. One, two, three. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. When, when, when is Israel getting saved? Millennial. Millennial. After the rapture. After the second coming. So after the millennial, after the second coming, Israel shall be saved. Ye shall not be ashamed, Israel. Nor confounded. World without end. It's not ending. See, only four clipped. Everyone is like, ah, it's going to end. <laughs> Un monde sans fin. La terre n'aura pas de fin. <laughs> when is the world ending? When you die, it ends for you. <laughs> quand est-ce que le monde va finir? C'est quand toi tu mourras. Ça sera fini avec toi. Imagine what we were told. It's about to end. The world will end in 2022. Everyone will be like, my God. 2002, the world is ending. <laughs> Yet it's in your Bible, world without end. Ah, why took a no, but we were not born at it. It's only you. <laughs> These guys are like, why took a we read of it. We're never there. We're very young, grade one, grade two. These guys were already in secondary school. 
So knowledge was obtained from what? From trees. The tree of life. But there was the tree of good and evil. Notice. It wasn't the tree of evil. It was the tree of good that led to evil. So when the gallery of heaven sat and analyzed what caused the devil to be like that, because it says, until sin was formed in him, was found in him, they realized pride was at the center of his sin. So what happened? They realized if he got it, he got it through information. He got it from a tree. And the Bible says it what? If you are wrong, knowledge puffeth up. Knowledge. This wisdom you gain from this world, it puffeth up. Do you understand that right now, you people, you are brave to go on the sea right now? Say, I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I just want to go on holiday and we'll be in a yacht. Do you realize that according to scientists, they have only discovered, or rather, they've only studied 5% of the animals under the sea? So when they are telling you a whale is the biggest animal under the sea, they are saying from the 5% we studied. Now just imagine if you meet that fish that swallowed up Jonah. What if it had room for you and your yacht? Les scientifiques disent qu'ils ont juste découvert So the information we have is useless. And scientists will tell you, we know everything. Yeah, we know a lot. Science. Look at these past two years. They were denying science. Look at homosexuality and lesbianism. They will tell you, now, it's okay. It's not a problem. It's somebody might, nature might have made a mistake. Hey. Nature made a mistake. Where? Why don't we go to science and test this blood? So we see the chromosomes. Scientists will be like, no, 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 no. Not everything should be tested like that. Ah! All this time we're testing like this. It's only when you want to push in your agenda. Now, listen, I don't have any problem with any gay person or lesbian here, okay? Nope, I have no problem with you. So don't move around and say, yeah. He is homophobic. Me. Looking at me, I fear homosexuals. Me. You, you. How? <laughs> How? How? Lesbian. I fear. You move like this, I'm like, I mean, I fear you. Come on. I, I don't fear that. There is no fear anywhere. You see how clever they did? If you don't agree with their lifestyle, they call you homophobic. If you don't allow terrorists to terrorize your country, they call you Islamophobic. How would I feel? Uh, but I think Islamophobic is, is, is necessary. <laughs> sit down, sit down. <laughs> Tell me, are you telling me, you, when you get on the flight... And you see Africans, all Africans, you'll be like, oh my God, oh my God, today you never know. <laughs> but you get in there, Africans are there, yeah. white people, where, where would I feel white people? Yeah. They'll be on their laptops going like this. It's, it's nothing. What can they do? Like this man said, the only place you fear white people is in the bush. Yeah. You never know, you never know. Look at what happens here in this country. They say, Oh, uh, so and so is missing. If it's one day gone, the following day is in the undergrowth, overgrowth, somewhere. In the bush. Black people, why would I fear? Black people would never, would never save. Listen, we have no money for bombs. Anyway, forget about this. <laughs> we have no money for this. We can't waste money like that. Like I'm going to work 12 months of my own life to blow myself up. Ah! <laughs> Where? Do you know? <laughs> you take the best 400 years, the whole race will go 400 years back. I don't want to talk about it. But you get in the flight, on the flight, you sit there, white people, 
Indian. Yes. And I've never seen an Indian man. Terrorist Indian man. <laughs> Those guys are calm unless they are in India. Yes. Everywhere else, Indians are very calm. You can't even expect them to do anything. Now, you sit there. I'm trying to deal with the stigmas here. And, uh, so don't, don't, don't miss it and think I'm the one saying this. I'm, I want to show you something. If you get on a flight right now, white people, black people, um, you know, Indians are there. Then you see one brother with a... Who do you think is a terrorist there? And you say hello, say, and he's not greeting you. He's just going, la, 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 la. Ah! You'll be like, ah, I will go tomorrow. <laughs> do you understand what I'm trying to say? So when they say, do you fear this? There is a stigma, of course. Is every Muslim like that? No. But stigmas are there. So I understand when people say Islamophobic. There is a certain sense where we fear even the Muslims that don't do nothing. But when it comes to you are homosexual, I'm afraid. Ha! Ah, how? Starting from when? Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Anyway, I don't want to go deeper on that. Are you flowing? Yes. Something is moving. Yes. So when Adam comes in, he's like, look, I'm here with my wife. Brilliant. And the devil comes in like, look, I've had two trees. They all work. But what alerted him to the fact that they have not taken his information that made him who he was, was nakedness. So when he saw that they were naked, ha, ah, he said, oh, if these guys are naked, I'm wearing clothes. This is a repeat of what happened in the first garden. Okay, now, now, I know you're not getting it now. He says, by the number of thy multitude of thy merchandise. Where was he merchandising this? In other words, he was selling from the garden. To other nations, says Ezekiel. You missed it. When thou wast went forth out of the seas, thou feelest many people. Thou didst enrich the kings of the earth by the multitude of thy riches. When? When you were in the garden. So how was he in the garden merchandising to the world? How? That means there are two gardens. That's why even if you read in the, in the New Testament, it says the earth that was and the earth that became that flooded with water. Huh? Which one? Which one are you talking about? That there was another earth that then... Jesus. So we know for sure the earth you see as you think is the created one, this one that you are in now. There was another one before this. I'm not talking about a rock. I'm talking about a system. So the system was there that controlled demonic entities. And men that were not in the image of God were there. A pre-Adamic race. Okay, let me show you something. Show them be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful. Mm -hmm. Let's go back again. Mm -hmm. What does it say? Now and replenish. That means there is a word combination of etymology. Etymology. 
building blocks of words. Replenish. Re and plenish. Refill. So if I'm being told to refill the earth, that means it was full before and became empty. Now I have to refill it. Dans le livre de Genèse, chapitre 1, verset 28, lorsque Dieu leur dit, soyez féconds, multipliez-vous et remplissez. En d'autres termes, elle était remplie auparavant, mais elle a été vidée. Il leur a fallu qu'ils la remplissent encore une fois. Supernatural power of the believer. Discover the secrets to growing in the five dimensions of God's power. Order your copy of this best-selling book with over 100,000 copies sold by Hubert Angel from the Amazon Kindle Store or visit our online shop at www.hubertangel.org. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with Hubert Angel, please visit www.hubertangel.org. How to Hear the Voice of God by Hubert Angel. Learn the secrets to hearing directly from God from this latest edition. Available to order now from the Good News Store app. Order your copy now from the Amazon Kindle or www.hubertangel.org. And that moveth upon, and God blessed them, and God said, Be fruitful and multiply, replenish, replenish, refill. So the whole earth is, you see it. It was filled before. Now it's coming back. So when you see Zinjanthropus and you see all these fossils coming up that defy your religion, it's not a religion, but I want to give that as this one. It doesn't mean science is wrong. It doesn't mean science is wrong. It means you are wrong in your interpretation. Because verse number one and verse number two, verse two happened way before verse number three. Something happened in Genesis one, verse number two. By saying this, I mean, the earth was without form and void and darkness. There is something that caused darkness to come. What was it? Symbol. The old earth was corrupted by something. And what did the Bible say? And he said, let me go up and become like the most high. In other words, he wanted to climb up and take on the position of the most high. And when he fell... The judgment happened. But notice, Lucifer was called Lucifer, not devil. Let me talk to my people here because I'm about to finish. Yes, Lucifer was not called the devil. He was called Lucifer, meaning light. Meaning to say he was the first messenger to the world of the spirits. No, didn't get it. That means God sent him there to deliver them. And when he failed, what happened? God said, okay, now. Let me bring Moses. Oh, they didn't get it. And when Moses did not reach the actual point God wanted, the Bible says, I will send you another prophet like Moses. Yes. Talking about Jesus. So when you see the devil, you're not seeing somebody who was evil to start with. That's why people say, why did he create the devil? Wait a minute. He created him as light. Lucifer. The light. That means he was a shining light to the previous world. But when he got there, he was hot and proud. And joined in their sin. And failed to deliver them. Then Moses came in to deliver. But Moses was a good and righteous man. He was the most meek among the people there. Most humble. But one thing he couldn't do was to really become a perfect sacrifice. So he had only words and delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt. If you notice, he says, and they were baptized unto Moses. Yet they should be baptized unto Jesus. Amen. Hear this now. So the devil, sit down guys. The devil was created as a deliverer of the previous world. 
Le diable avait été créé comme celui qui allait délivrer les gens dans le monde d'avant, avant que la terre et le ciel soient créés, la terre où nous sommes maintenant. Mais il a échoué à cause de l'orgueil qui était monté en lui. C'est pour cela que la Bible dit, le deuxième, celui, la deuxième personne qui a été envoyée pour délivrer la terre, c'était Moïse. Mais Moïse n'était pas le sacrifice parfait. C'est pour cela que la troisième personne qui est venue, c'était Jésus-Christ. So the devil is not or was not as evil as you take him to be. Say, oh, why would God create him with this, all this, this thing and instruments? You were also created with instruments. That's what the Bible says. Praise the Lord with everything in you. That means the same way he was created with music, you were created with music. But because you fell, what happened? You lost what was inside. The sensitivity of what was inside was lost. So, so when the sensitivity that was, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So I tell you this, I tell you this. The issue is the devil is not the only one created with the instruments to worship. We were all created with the instruments to worship. But because we lost the sensitivity of it at the fall, what then happens is now we are reaching out to the outside of our being to look for something to worship God with, yet it should be inside. That's what the Bible says. For God seeketh such to worship him. Those who worship him in spirit and in truth, he seeketh such to worship him. Not in instruments and in guitars and in drums, but what was inside, we lost it. Yeah, so men, they had the ability to reach God without any instruments. So when you see these instruments here, you're seeing the fall of men. You are seeing the, the, the birth pains of men trying to birth that thing that is in them. That's why when you hear music, don't be so happy to just hear music and it excites you on the outside. Like, wow. Had a beat. No. It is something that is on the inside of you that should cry out. Woo! Woo! Il y a les gens qui se demandent pourquoi est-ce que le diable a été créé comme avec un instrument de la musique en lui. Toute personne qui est ici a été créée avec des instruments en lui. C'est pour cela que la Bible dit que toute personne qui respire, loue l'éternel. En toi, il y a la capacité, l'habilité et la, le, le, la possibilité de louer l'éternel, d'atteindre l'éternel sans pour autant sortir de toi-même et aller chercher de la musique de dehors. Let me show you dehors. something. Isaiah. The book of Isaiah. So information was obtained through trees. So the devil realizes that there is something that is wrong. The person that is in the garden is naked. So he doesn't know that there is a position where if you eat the fruit, you will get information. So Adam and Eve should get it from the life tree of life. But they are getting their light through a tree. But according to the Bible, the tree of life is God, Jesus. So they should have gotten it through Jesus. That's why when they ran away, what was the solution of God? He slaughtered an animal. Now he's already doing animal sacrifice as atonement for their sin. Because it should be life that fights for life. This is the reason why angels cannot be born again. This is the reason why angels can never, can never have the life that we have for them to be forgiven. Because they don't have the life of God. So the devil is aiming at this. When Adam fell, what happened? God provided a solution. Men were killed. And he provided an ark to cross. And then he sent Moses. At every turn, God had a solution. Then when all failed to completely do what he wanted, he sent Christ. So notice what the devil is thinking. If he pushes Christ down to earth and he tempts him, the last of the flesh on Jesus would make him be a member of the triune God. Because if Jesus fails, that means the third person on the Trinity has failed. 
and has failed on the pretext of the devil lying to him like he did with Adam. So if he took the Adamic authority, he is now going to take the Jesus authority. Now it is now impossible for you to send him to hell afterwards. He didn't get it. He figured that every time God sends a redeemer, God sends a redeemer, but this time he did it with Adam. He got it and he appeared before the sons of God. Ha! Huh? He made people fail. Moses came. He would kill people with snakes. Moses would say, pointed the cross. So the devil knew this one is not as powerful as the one who is coming. Let's wait. He came in. It's like, I will fix it. I will find your last change stones. Make them bread. Ha! You. He said, I ah, know. He went to another one. He said, um, by the way, let's use this one. What do you think he wanted to kill the first bonds for? What were you thinking? He didn't want Jesus to appear. If I kill Jesus now, now there is no third person on the triune God. So who, who, do you know who steps in? It's me. Since I stepped in on Adam. À chaque fois que la race humaine échouait, Dieu envoyait toujours quelqu'un pour les sauver. Il a, lorsque Adam a échoué, il a donné un veau pour les couvrir. Il a donné un sacrifice. Lorsque Israël échouait, il a envoyé Moïse. Lorsque Israël échouait, il envoyait toujours des sauveurs. Il pensait même que lorsque Jésus était né, il allait so tuer les premiers nés afin que lui, il puisse devenir l'un de, de trio céleste. Il sait exactement ce qu'il fait. He is trying to force a failure on Christ. Remember the Bible says, for God is not slow concerning his promises, but he is patient, long-suffering, willing that some may repent. So the devil has heightened his sin nature so that all of you will fail. And if you fail, this is the reason. Remember, Jesus could have come. But the Bible says because he's patient, he waits and waits. So he's just waiting for what? For repentance to take place. Meaning to say we delayed in our repentance. That means according to the devil, I did not say according to Jesus, according to the devil, the plan of God is not working. So he has hope. La seule raison pour laquelle Jésus-Christ n'est pas encore là, c'est parce que nous For sommes là à nous repentir. Il est toujours patient et Bible. attend. He knows his time is short. So he is very angry. He filled with great wrath. So in this short time, he has only a short time to avoid hell. He, he can't avoid it, but he doesn't know it. And he knows one important factor. He doesn't deal with information from life. He deals it from light, trees. So you're not getting revelation. So he knows he can't be born again. To which of the angels did he say, sit at my right hand? To which one? <laughs> this is why the angels got surprised. They said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? The son of man that you visit him. What is man? So since he can't get born again, he can't repent. The only solution is not to try to repent. It's only trying to focus on being God. That's why he is the antichrist. The one who comes instead of Christ. So he's not trying to oppose him. He's trying to say, I'm also occupying the place of the son. If you notice his statement, I will also become like the son. I will also become like the father. If he is like the father, he is not the father. He is exactly the son. That's why I said, sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies. Who is the enemy? The son's enemies. That means according to God, the devil cannot be in a position to become his enemy. I don't know, you're, you're flowing wrong. Are you, are you flowing right? It means the devil is not the enemy. Are you hearing me? Of God. He can't. He's too small. So God said, you are not my enemy. I know you will be my, the enemy of the position of my son. So all the devil is fighting is sonship. So when you are sitting there as a daughter and as a son, you don't understand why the devil fights you. No, you have occupied the position he wanted to occupy. 
the position of a daughter, the position of a son. That is the problem. Is like why? Isaiah, the book of Isaiah. <sighs> so angels don't have the life as we have. Les anges n'ont pas la vie que nous nous avons. Verse number 11. This is where you see his manifesto and it will be finished. Thy pomb is brought down to the grave. Aye. You know when God speaks to you, if God bewitches you, there is no deliverance minister anywhere <laughs> that can handle your problem. <laughs> thy pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vows and the worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee. Mm -hmm. How art thou fallen from heaven? Oh, light bearer. How did you change, O oh light bearer? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? You weakened nations. <laughs> Let's go. For thou in your manifesto, this is where you find all the I wills of the devil. You said, I will ascend to heaven. Number one, you when you say you will ascend to heaven, you are saying you will remove your government from here. No, you are not getting me. You, you, are, not get, you, you are not getting me. I will ascend into heaven. I will remove. I will move from my place of assignment and raise my platform higher. That's what he's saying. So the pride got in. So the, all the angels are hearing him saying, yeah, I will do this. They are like, wow. You're going to do it. With the ancient of days sitting there, I will do it. I know him. If you have seen him sit, sitting down on, on the road, every day the Lord will just be sitting down like this. He'll be sitting down. Sitting down. Na saying nothing. The Lord will sit in, saying nothing. Said he that is in the heaven shall sit and laugh. He'll just play. And he looks out, down on earth and he sees them planning. He goes, <laughs> and the angels are going, holy, holy, holy. And he's just laughing. What does God do on the throne? Laughs. Where is he on holiday? He says, and he rested on the seventh day. Done. He's not working anywhere. Now the angels, all this time, they just say, holy, holy. And the devil now, look at the difference. The Lord is sitting down. The devil walks up and down on the coals of fire. Ha! The angels are like, this guy is dangerous. I know the Lord is that one, but this guy, have you seen what he can do? He can walk on coals of fire. All the angels are convinced this man is big. Then he comes to them and says, I will exalt my throne. Hi. You will ascend to heaven, you. He said, yes. I'm now leaving my place of assignment. I know I've been sent to the old generation, but I've heard that they are creating a man after their image. Yet we were not created in his image. The other angels are like, ah, what are, we? what are you doing? He said, no, 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 we're doing this. We are doing this. We are not going to, 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 to play around with this. Ah! So the angels understood it. They said, ah, no, no, no. no. We, are not, we, are, we are not listening to this. We are going to go deeper now. What you are saying, lead the revolution. He is a second class angel. Seraphs, everyone, begged him. To the extent that they are angels that are more dangerous than the devil who are arrested under the sea, right now in the bottomless pit, arrested because they can beat everyone here. God said, these guys are dangerous. I don't want to see them on earth. So the devil is not the biggest angel alive now. Even the angel of death who fell with him, that one is more powerful than the angel himself, the, the devil himself. Wow. But he's right now angry at the devil. But they have no option. They've already made the wrong mistake. So they are all working towards getting their master to be the third person of the triune God. And their solution is simple. Make every Christian sin. 
Don't worry about the world. They are already ours. They have not received Christ. They, don't, they are not serious about Christ. They say we have received, but they are still doing the same thing. Let's get in the churches now. And let's not start with the congregation. Let's start with the pastor. And then with the demon, so, a deacon. <laughs> no, they just rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. <laughs> so consistently, men are falling, rising. People are falling. Christians in there, falling. One, they are at a certain juju voodoo guy. Then they come to church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tying all kinds of nonsense in there, on their waist. And say, how great is our God. Which doctors are prophets? <laughs> Wizards have become pastors. Why? Because the devil knows if I disturb the church, the plan of God goes in disarray. And if it goes on disarray, then just as Moses did not quickly, uh, really, fire, really, really finish the race, like really completely did it with finesse, we are going to end up. Perhaps the Lord will see that the light he put on me can actually produce something. I know I failed the first task. But I, I still have the assignment. Because even God conceded, thou sealest up the sound. Perfect in beauty. <laughs> you think he makes you sin because he likes to see you sin? No, sir. He's just trying, no, ma'am. He's trying to make you act exactly like the world. And when you do so, he says to the Lord, do you see? Even your own son can do this. We can do it. Just give us a portion. We'll look at how we have managed to influence the world. Do you understand that in church, 51 to 55% is now the divorce rate. We are now bigger than the world now. No, you didn't know that. We, it used to be 80% no divorce rate in church. It was 20% divorce rate. And the world was 80%. Now we are higher than the, than the world. And then we went to 50-50. Do you know why? We took the principles of the world. Now you see pastors telling you that a man and his wife are equal in the marriage. It's a lie. And that has destroyed more marriage than anything. Because if the woman is not told by their own parents that no sir, no ma'am, if you get into that marriage, you're now under that man. So you go in there expecting the relationship that he showed you before to be the same when you go get in. Yeah, you lie. Men are very good at it. Men? Yes. <laughs> Men are just like, I love you so much. I love you. I love you like a pop in a guava tree. <laughs> Your personality is, is as fundamental as an oasis. I don't love you. I'm greedy for you. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> so from the bottom of the heart. Meanwhile, he has never seen the bottom. <laughs> I will give you the world. Five dollars you can't give me. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? La raison pour laquelle le diable Are you hearing? est toujours en train de pousser I son think it's not getting yeah, yeah. That, 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 I suspect that, that corner there. Mm. C'est parce que il veut que toi Full of suspects in that corner. Toi tu pêches et que tu commets tes péchés, tu entres dans, le, dans son plan et il montre à Dieu que ce que lui a prévu est en train d'échouer. So the principles of God are played with in church. We've listened to to theology that is really messed up. One preacher in America God forgive him. He said, my, my wife is my spiritual mother. Is my priest. I said, wow. This thing has gone too deep now. It is touching places. What do you think femininity is doing? It's a plan of the enemy to go against it. So he starts it outside. And you start hearing the Me Too movement, women also movement, women this, women should rise, women should, and you, in your head, yes, it should, should happen like that. Then when that happens now, you capture that all and bring it there and bring, until Christians start going like, this is an old thing where 
A man is the priest and the wife is this. It's an old thing. Now it's getting accepted in the church bit by bit. Now it's no longer you getting into the world. The world has come to the church. It is more difficult to cast the world out of the church than to take the world out of them. That's why the Bible says, get out of them, my people. Il est plus difficile de, de faire quitter le monde de l'église. Lorsque le monde entre dans, dans l'église, il est très compliqué de faire euh, comprendre aux gens que le monde n'est plus partie d'eux. C'est pour cela que l'agenda la, du diable concernant le féminisme est maintenant parmi nous. Il y a les femmes qui croient. Il y a les femmes qui croient que le, leurs maris, ils sont égaux avec leurs maris. Mais c'est une fausse doctrine. You can doctrine. steal, you can rob, God will forgive you. <laughs> so no one is really following the light. That comes from the life. Personne ne suit la lumière qui see, vient de la vie. People say they are dedicated. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. I've always used this principle with my team there, those two guys. They, they are responsible for interviewing people. And I tell them, ask the person you want to interview, what can they do for God? And if that answer cannot come out of them, they are lying. They're not as dedicated. Because how do I choose you among 2.8 million people to become my PA, to become my, my secretary, to become my protocol? How do I choose you if I don't think you can die for me? Do you understand kings only use the eunuchs? You know eunuchs? People with no reproductive organs. And Jesus said, some were made so by God. That means God actually made people with no reproductive organs. Then he says, but some were made so by men. Why were they created like that? You know, of course, they have a way of uh, moving products out, moving whatever it is, uh, west out. But they can't use them. He says, why? Because... In those days when kings would be there, what happens with kings? They would say, I need somebody to be close to me who is a eunuch. So they don't have a child and they can't have one. So they have no interest in taking your money. They will keep everything okay. The moment somebody is a child, they already fight for their child. That's one. I'm just going to, for that child. Your mind will go to your child no matter what. Right now. I'm a good pastor, good prophet, your spiritual father, until I see your son and go, come! Like, who does he think he is? Mm, your father? Your prophet, I was thinking. How can you beat up my son like that? I'm going, I'm tomorrow, uh, next, next day, next door, they will be worshiping. What has happened? You touched my son. That's when you realize he didn't go deep. Look at what happened there. Where the men of God simply walk up one day and say, you cannot charge people. You can't charge Christians money to sing in church. You can't merchandise the anointing. Oh, someone said, no, but you also pastors, you are getting paid. Okay. There is a scripture there. There is no scripture on earth on music minister. You will not find it. Okay, just because they call you music minister, it doesn't mean it's biblical. It's not there. Il n'y a pas d'écriture dans la Bible yeah, qui parle des ministres minister. de Dieu concernant la musique. Tu ne peux pas, tu ne peux pas faire payer Have aux you noticed that every time a music minister's popularity has gone down, they become a preacher? That means you know they were never called. What they are searching for is popularity and power and the mighty dollar. Money is a way of exposing stuff. Real intentions are in money. Just withdraw the money. You think, even the devil knew it. He said, nah, this job of yours. Let's take the money out. Let's see what you will do. Ah, Job started saying some words you never... <laughs> job was a quiet man until money was taken. Job started talking. Do you understand there is no book like the book of Job where the conversation was heard, where God started replying and coming more than Job. Job got God to reply when money was taken. Job started thinking, oh. even his friends joined in. 
Say, no, kiss this God of yours. Look, look at Orichiwe. Now look at this. This God of yours does not love you. Let's go. I was saying about the heights of God, and then what I will do? I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. You see, I told you, the idea of the devil was one. What did he want to do? To be better than angels. That's all. So, the angels are hearing him saying, my throne that you think we are together like this, you will see what I will do to it. They say, ah, your brother, yeah, but you will see. I know you think I am a second class angel. I know I'm a cherub, which means number two. But you will see what I will do. I will take it up even above the seraphs. Now the seraphs are very few. Fewer than, when I say very few, I don't mean few in the number that you think of. But most are the many angels. Right now if I say to you, check the word archangel, you think it appears so many times. Not, it won't appear even three times in your Bible. You will not even see Gabriel as the archangel. It's not written in your Bible. Archangel Gabriel. Je le verrai mon trône au-dessus des étoiles de Dieu. C'est ce que le diable a dit. Quand il a dit les étoiles de Dieu, c'était juste le, 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 les anges avec qui il régnait. Il est, le, le, il est dans la deuxième classe des anges, mais il voulait s'élever et aller au niveau des séraphins alors que lui, il était this? chérubin. Are you getting this? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. That's 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. With a, the voice of an archangel. Then Jude 1, 9. Yet Michael the archangel. That's it. That's the only time in the whole Bible archangel appears. Wow. Only twice. Only one referring to Michael. Never to Gabriel. Pastors have told you Gabriel is an archangel. No, say, if you see an archangel, you will cry. Even Gabriel waited until Michael came to, to fight. 21 days, Gabriel was trying to enter <laughs> until the archangel arrived. <laughs> and you think Michael is a... People think they're everywhere. Do you realize that this is the only time Michael and Gabriel... Please give me another, another name of an angel you know. Not you, but angel. No. I mean, <laughs> this, this. But I know pastors who have told you there is another angel called this, there is another. Don't go beyond the Bible. Stay in the Bible. You only have Gabriel and Michael. Les deux noms de, and there. Les anges que la Bible Don't push dit, nonsense. C'est juste now. Gabriel et, et, et Michael. N'allez pas go. chercher les autres noms qui ne sont pas écrits dans la Bible. Spiritual Warfare by the best-selling author of Supernatural Power of the Believer, Hubert Angel. This book will show you how to enforce your God-given supernatural authority to neutralize demonic activity, how to overcome demonic strategies and deal with the devil. Get an expose of Satan's lies and trickery in this book. Spiritual Warfare by Hubert Angel. Available to order now at www.hubertangel.org. The demon of poverty is more powerful than prayer and fasting combined. If the demon of poverty was not more powerful than prayer and fasting combined, Africa should be the richest continent on earth, human being. If a demon goes out of a person, it goes to the dry lands. And when it does not find rest, it comes back. Dry lands cannot mean Dubai, Kuwait, and all this. Because if dry lands meant deserts, then Dubai should be poorer than you know where. But it's so amazing. Demons find a location with no worship team with no prophet with no pastor and they sit there saying it's not comfortable here it's too hot let's go back to the christians my house who is in a church who worships prays fast and calls that christian my house
Defeating the Demon of Poverty by Hubert Angel. How to break free from the spirit of lack. Hard copy available now from the Good News Store app or order from Amazon Kindle or at www.hubertangel.org. I'll become better than the angels, sons of God, number three. Hmm? Are you even reading? I will also, notice the word also tells you what this is. It says, I will also. I will what? Also. I will also. That means where he wants to go is where God is. I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation. Mm -mm. Congregation are there to worship God. So if he says, I also mount, in other words, I will get to a place where you, because after I raise my, above you, you will see the world worshiping me. All the angels are, this is a good plan. This is a good plan. Le diable dit je m'assierai aussi sur la montagne de la Sainte. This guy had a very good manifesto. La Bible dit que la Bible dit dans la version anglaise. And what will I do? Je aussi. Donc il montera. So he is saying I'm going to the place of admiration. Where everyone admires me, you will see. You will see. Il voulait monter à la place de Dieu là où tout le monde allait l'admirer. Number 4. He says what? Even if you read Nehemiah 9, 6, you get it. Uh, number four. There. I will go what? I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. This is one of the things he managed to do. On worship, he has found the, con the people worshiping him. There are people now worshiping the devil. So he has found that. This one. He says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. In other words, he's saying, I will go above the clouds a little bit. So he is seeking for a realm of his own to control. Since God has got the third heavens and the fourth heavens and the fifth heavens, he says, I was taken to, a, to the third heavens. So we're talking about the third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth dimension, whatever it is, right? So he says to the third, he simply talks about one, two, three, even if it's the first two, three. He's actually just talking about three, four, five in the dimension. So he's saying, I will also create my own dimension. It will be sort of a second dimension connected to the third. So it will be functional for me. Just above the clouds, that's where I start. So he's saying, I need my own atmosphere, my own place where I can put my demons. Read, and you realize what the Bible says. Wickedness in high places. Huh? Where are the high places? The one he said, I will create. So now he possesses his own heaven, his own realm. Hey, you're taking time to get this, I know. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And is the prince of the air. Way above the clouds. He even told you his location. Quand la Bible dit dans le, dans le livre de Esaïe 14, 14, je monterai sur, time, le, je monterai sur, are, je monterai sur le sommet des nuées. C'était juste qu'il voulait, ceci est l'une des choses qu'il a accompli. Il voulait arriver à un niveau où les gens allaient l'adorer. C'est pour cela qu'aujourd'hui, nous avons des gens qui adorent le diable. Il n'a pas pu percer pour aller dans le troisième so ciel, mais il est juste resté sur le deuxième ciel, là où les things. gens l'adorent. Il a des gens qui l'adorent. When you fly, when you travel, weather conditions, they are all created from that region. Lorsque tu, tu voyages, les conditions du, du climat, tout cela est créé you know à partir tsunamis, de son niveau. They are all controlled because of the position of the, of the moon. Yes. My will be above the clouds. Les principalités, les principautés et autres choses, esprits mauvais, sont contrôlés à partir de ce niveau. Il s'est établi à ce niveau-là. So when a Satanist tells you he's going to punish you, he doesn't need to meet you. He goes to another round to do it. You greet him on the street and you'll be like, how are you? Ah, oh, where are you coming from? Church. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay.
go home. He dealt with you two days ago in the realm of the spirit above the clouds. It's created an atmosphere. When I say location here, I don't just mean location physical. I'm also meaning location spiritually. The last one. And what will I do? I will what? I will be like the most high. So his intention is to be like what? Jesus. Son intention is to devenir comme le très haut. So they knew there was a reason. They knew there was a position that needed to open the book, but he could not step forward. When they said there was nobody who was worth found to open the book, he couldn't. He was there in his room looking at the request. That means if he had only, he attempted to go there, he attempted to go there. Even when Jesus died, what did he do? He went to the hell. Says he descended to the lower parts of hell. He that ascended upon high descended also to the lower parts of hell. What did he do? He says, according to the Weymouth translation. Do you have the Weymouth translation? The bond with its requirements, which was enforced against us and was hostile to us, he cancelled and cleared it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. In the old, come, come. So, so. Yes. Stand here. Now, who, who else? No, let's use Ricky. Come. Because you people have never understood what it means to be a slave. Now, stand here. <laughs> These are examples we have to give. <laughs> now, so slaves would be put in cages. Okay, guys? No, you, you, you are okay. Les, les slaves would be put in, in, in cages. Dans des cages. And they would write what was called a bond, et which is written a chirographon. Please listen. If you never went to school, this is the only school you have. It's called a chirographon. So when preachers say, they don't know, um, when Jesus nailed down, he wrote something. He... They don't know what that means. The word he wrote down means chirographon. So when you hear this, you understand what he wrote. It didn't need to be anything. It just needed to be writing. It was called a chirographon. So the Bible actually says, he stepped down, nailed down, and wrote on the ground, chirographon. Now hear what it is. So you come. You are the master of slaves. You, are, you want to buy these slaves. <laughs> so now, you would get to the... Give me your paper. You would get to the... Is there... A, yes, like this. Write it. Yeah, hold it like this. So there will be one here, Ricky Dulan. This is our slave. So here, it will be number one. He is strong. Yes. Two, nice beard. <laughs> yes. What are those things? Three, tall. He doesn't eat too much. This is just this is for an example, as an example. <laughs> uh, specifically for example. <laughs> no too much food. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have another one here? Please, thank you. So him, very strong, he can sing. <laughs> now they say, oh, the white people are like, wow, 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 wow. He can sing. So, so all this entertainment we want to do, this is our entertainment from the field, straight to entertainment. <laughs> can he cook? No. Oh, he can cook. <laughs> now, then they say, but minus, now these are plus. Okay? Minus. This document was called a chirographon. Right. So, it was called a bond. So here, it says now, this Peter ran twice from this plantation. <laughs> he's a runner. Yeah, he's a runner. <laughs> Number two, he doesn't call anyone master. Mm -hmm. Number three, very angry. <laughs> Short-tempered. Stubborn guy. So now, I have seen the pluses, the minuses now. Number five, you don't worry about this one. He killed two people. <laughs> the guy is a murderer. 
Now, what happened now is, is a chirographer. It carries the pluses and the minus for you. So when the master wants to buy you, while it's you are in your cage, it's written here. Number one, number two, he's a runner. He's this, you know, he lies. No. Very tricky individual. <laughs> now, <laughs> these are examples. Oh, them, God is my witness. So this is a chirographer. This is a chirographer. Okay? Number four, he likes black women. Sorry. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Just in case you don't, the wives come and stand next to them. I, I was just prophesying, you know. <laughs> Okay, go and see, go and see the wives. <laughs> Black lava. <laughs> now, all these things are appearing on this. And the master then looks at the pluses and goes like, strong, I like strong. We can have harvest, brilliant. And he can sing. Wow, 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 wow. Nice. Everything is good. So he's monitoring. He's saying, I like it. I like it. Then the next thing he comes to is a place called the cons. Pros, cons. The minuses. Mm. What if he kills one of my children since it's a murder? Hmm? Since he, lie, he loves black. You know, my children are black. This guy here, we might find him in our house. <laughs> so all this happened until the master says, I don't care about the minuses. So he, can, he puts two lines, two lines, and write telestau. Wow. Telestau. Then put two lines, right? And write telestau. Do you know what the word telestau meant? It meant this. It meant all these things I have understood them. And I do not care about the cons. Wow. And listen to this. This is a document. A real legal market document in olden times. And the word telestau. It is exactly the word Jesus said. It is finished. Hey. Are you getting it now? Thank you. You can sit down. So when God was on the cross and he said, it is finished. He wasn't trying to say, I have finished dying. He was saying, I love the slave. I'm taking him exactly with his minuses. Go back to that verse. I told you, you live here with a degree. The bond, the chirographon with its minuses and pluses which was in force against them, which said a lot of negatives about them. <sighs> and was hostile to us. He cancelled where on his cross by saying what? Tell us now, it is finished. Le chirographone l'ordonnance qui nous condamnait, il l'a pris et il a écrit Telestal. Ah, C'est le mot qui veut dire que c'est accompli. <laughs> Jesus said, it is finished. And people say, wow, what did he write on the, on the ground? When the woman was caught in adultery, and I tell you, she was caught in adultery. Was she on top or beneath? It doesn't matter. They took her like this and dragged her to Jesus. And the Buddha said, we saw her. Where was the man? Don't worry. He said, we saw here. And what happened to him? Jesus wrote chirographon. He was writing the minuses and the pluses of the woman. And then the Bible says, and he knelt down again. Cancelled. Tell us now. He didn't do it once. He did twice. The first one to write the pluses and the minuses. The second one to cancel. So the plan of God was simple. Whether you say he is evil or not, I have cancelled it. So you see, you see now what the devil has managed to do when he realized that the devil, Jesus only came and said, don't worry. 
what I'm going to do is, I'm going to represent them myself. So the devil realized, even if I mess up the church, grace will cover them. Lorsque now, what he has done now is to tell the, the church grace is not correct. Il a compris que même s'il les présente lui-même, je ne vais plus réussir ah, parce que la grâce it. va les couvrir. Now he is telling you the law is right. Maintenant, il te dit que la loi est correcte. Because he knows the plan every time he takes. God comes with a new plan. He says, oh, look, we are not caring what they do. As long as they receive me, they are okay. Now the devil realizes, okay, even I make them sin, they go to heaven. Even if I try to do this, as long as they ask forgiveness, they go to heaven. Oh my God, I'm, I'm God. I'm, I'm, I'm gone now. I'm gone, definitely. And I wanted to be God, but I'm gone now. So he said, mm. so the only solution I'm left with is to tell them grace is overhyped. There is over grace, hyper grace. They start telling the world that no, don't listen to them. They are into hyper grace. So all of you, you're following the law without knowing it. That's why you hear someone say, ah, that pastor, he, he, he fell from grace. Grace is the thing that holds you when you fall. La grace est la chose. How can you fall from grace? How? How can you fall from grace? Tu ne peux pas tomber de la grâce. When you fall, grace grabs you and says, "Stand up." Lorsque tu es You can never fall from grace. Qui te prend? Tu ne peux jamais tomber ou bien échouer dans la grâce. The playbook of the devil has been exposed. Le plan du diable a échoué. The devil is only concentrating on making you fail. So he knows for sure what you want. Le diable he knows what you're doing. Il sait ce, il sait ce que tu he fais. knows the agenda. Il right now, I can be in, in New York, a branch. I can be in Zimbabwe. I can be in all places. But there will be people in Zimbabwe that if I go there and stay for two weeks, Five months, they'll say, I'm not going to church tomorrow because he's not there. Yeah. You see what the devil is doing to people? Yeah. They have a good reason why. If the pastor does not like you, they have a reason why they should not tithe. So the tricks of the devil, every time he's outsmarted, but the people are not getting smart. It's only God who is smart. So he's consistently outsmarting the devil. Ah, oh, so he thinks... Mm, I will fail the plan because people will sin. Don't worry. If you sin, don't even worry. You have an advocate before the Father. Wow. Oh, yeah, that one, he got me again. So the devil is just going like, oh my God, I did not know that part. So we have an advocate. So the only thing he can do is to tell you that when you sin, you are done. There are so many people here, they just sin once. The whole salvation is out of their brain. I don't know what I will do. I don't know. I'm, I just sinned. I made a sin. I, I made this. This sin is continuing. I don't know in my life. Why will I even remove this from myself? Then guess what? I don't come to church anymore. Because they think I need to be clean myself before I clean anything. Trust me, you can never be clean enough. Yeah, you can never. Pass. It's not going to happen. You can't clean yourself. Tu ne peux pas you, te you just clean yourself. Même. You just wake up, you are clean. Tu peux pas te laver toi-même, te nettoyer exactly. toi-même, te sentir We are incapable of being clean. Nous sommes incapables d'être tout pur. This is the reason why Jesus said to come as Jesus. C'est pour cela God que Jésus est venu comme Jésus. He needed a solution, and the solution should be a sacrifice. But the sacrifice should be 100 percent clean. Dieu and there is no man like that one. Devait être 100% <laughs> clair so he decided, let me pur. become a man myself. And become clean myself. And die as a clean sacrifice. Myself. Because all the other sheep, gods, all this could not do it. So when he did it, human beings started going to the law again. And the Bible says, if righteousness would come by the law, then Christ died for nothing. Si la justification vient par la loi, Christ est mort pour rien. Il a réalisé que le sang des agneaux ne pouvait pas enlever le péché. Il a décidé de devenir of a country, un homme et de nous sauver lui-même. Right. Which I am. Yes, What that means you is, if my portfolio covers people to invest in my country, 
What's the reason of going directly when you can come through me? If that's my assignment, why would I send you to another person? I should be telling you, here is what I'm going to do for you. This, 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 this is what my capacity is as an ambassador. Now, I'm now telling you how the other capacities are going to be measured to you based on the ministry you go to. What am I doing? I'm accomplishing what I'm sent to do in my capacity. But most of you are following the Lord without this capacity of understanding. These are the tricks of the enemy. He will eat you up, mess you up, chew you up, spit you, spit you out, and you have no idea how to run away from him. Because what you are thinking will save you Ce que vous pensez, vous pensez is que this ça va vous little sauver. righteous works of yours. Cette petite justice It's not going to happen. Vous-même. Not on this earth. Pas sur cette terre. We are not that good. Nous ne sommes pas aussi bons que ça. But Christ is good for us. Mais Christ est bon pour nous. Here my last retouching. The enemy and to every spirit listen. I say a story where Sia when he was young we went out, me, prophetess, seer. So we have our child. On, you know, I don't like this, you know, this, this theme parks. Or just going around like that. Not because I fear them, but I'm a man of understanding. Why should I be in there going like a whole prophet? <laughs> Angels will be there going like Yahweh as protecting our man of God. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he saving the lost? No. He's in the merry-go-round. <laughs> a whole prophet sitting in a, in a tea, teapot. You know this? You know, they have these things, you know, they, and some will be a big cup. They'll be sitting there. Angels are like, yes, this is the prophet to the dispensation. <laughs> In a teapot. No. But because you're a father, you have to go to these things. So I went there. I wasn't even going to that. I was just moving around, up and down, and left the cards at home, left money at home, just so when... We got there, we realized, if I have to go home and end it, and like that, now, if I have money, then I found some few amounts. And it was only enough for my ticket, profit's ticket, Sears ticket. Now, I'm sitting there thinking, this is, this is God. Because the money is enough for three tickets, and we're three. It should be enough for two. So I tried to make my thing like, you know, we'll just buy you. Do you need anything to eat? UJ is like, "Mm -mm." (laughs) definitely if he's like that, the mother will never say, yes, this is a theme park. So he said, all this time I was trying to use my own money for my ticket to buy food. So that when I show them two tickets, they say, are you coming? I say, oh no, I don't have money to go. (laughs) I calculate my things very well. And then it didn't happen. I bought three tickets. So now I'm geared. I've already said, I've said my prayers. <laughs> I'm a man of faith. Have you seen those ones that take you from here and just... Yes. Okay, people. For what? <laughs> Why would I pay to be scared? For what reason? Do you think it's reasonable? Me getting scared after paying them. I said, no, I'm not doing this. So I prayed in tongues and in non-language. All I could, you know, sometimes you, you, the angels might not understand the other languages. You <laughs> give them your own one. So I, I did everything I could. And then I started telling God. God spoke to me, said, you're not going on those things. I said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> he said, not for the reasons you are saying. That one is a fear. I never gave you fear. 
I said, okay. He said, oh, you will see in a few minutes. So I'm standing. My wife here, I'm standing here. My son there, three of us like this. We are waiting, you know, because the queue is going like that. UJ just goes, where is our son? I will look around. I will see him there speaking to this white kid. They are now playing. They are talking. And then he starts pointing at me, talking to this little kid. He comes close. This little white kid just came and went like, don't get it twisted. <laughs> why would you, why would you, what do you need from me? May you receive overflows. You see, there are, there are overflows in the overflows there. <laughs> now, hear this. Hear this. What's, your, what's wrong? I'm already angry. You know you get angry for no reason. <laughs> Little child like this, I'm angry. Where is your father, you think? <laughs> I wanted to say, where is your father? Before I uttered those words, you said, you, your son said, uh, UJ said, I said, you know UJ? He said, I met him now, just now. <laughs> so you're not friends, you don't go to the same school. UJ is just quiet like this. He used to be very quiet. I said, oh, so you want, what do you want here? He said, I, uh, a ticket. You said, if I come here, you give me a ticket. I said, God, thank you so much. <laughs> My prayers were answered that place. But you see, because this is money, I was like, no, 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 no. It doesn't happen like that, man. You want, my, you want a ticket? Where's your money? It's like your son said, your son, now when he said your son now, this is now different from you, Jay said. Your son said, you will give me the ticket. I looked at him, just like this. <laughs> now I thought, I can't embarrass my son. He went to this rascal. <laughs> <laughs> told this little rascal that I would be able to give him a ticket. So he believes in me so much that I will give this guy a ticket. So also, I don't like these things. But I also don't like to give somebody who just comes and goes like, for no reason. Man should be given for what? For services. So immediately, I started hearing from God. He said, you see, son, this is what I have done with my son. I've given you my son's name. Power of attorney. That when you get to a thing and you say in the name of Jesus, I do it for my son if I'm not doing it for you. Il a entendu la voix de Dieu qui nous disait que c'est ce que j'ai fait pour vous. He said because I told you in the name of Jesus, my son, every knee should bow. No matter what, I will follow through with it. Peu importe le cas, Je l'accomplirai toujours. Listen to me. So every prayer you do, do it in the name of Jesus. It's not a password. Uh -uh. You are using the same. It is as though Jesus were here on earth. Listen to my English. It is as though Jesus were here on earth doing it himself with his own hands. Était sur terre. Jésus est en train de le faire avec ses propres mains. That's it. So people think when they say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it's like a password that opens some power. No. When demons hear this, they look at you and see Jesus doing it. They don't even hear the name of Jesus as you're thinking. I know what you think. You think demons are waiting to hear Jesus and they obey. No, they hear the name of Jesus and suddenly you are transformed in their eyes to the image of the Son of God. That's why the Bible says, ye are gods. If you knew this, you look at your money and say, in the name of Jesus. I was working with Jesus. them in, this, in, 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 in a mall in Westerfield, in Sado River, in New Jersey. And we're in there, we go to this place where they were selling uh, products from a, 
this thing, uh, alpacas. So I said, let's get in. And it's closed. And it's written, closed. I stood there outside like this. What did I do? I called the person. I said, come back now in the name of Jesus. Some people were about to leave. He said, you, you, you want to get in there? Gone somewhere. Was supposed to do minutes and minutes there. She just felt a need to come back. She felt somebody was waiting and needed to come back. No camera anywhere. Call. I was hunting in Zimbabwe there with pastors. And we didn't catch anything. I called animals. On chassait dans la forêt, il n'y avait pas des animaux. J'ai appelé des animaux. It's not de appearing Jesus. because of you, but angel. The name I'm calling is not even hearing the name. It hears Christ saying, come here. You think it's hearing the name Jesus and going like, oh, where do we go? It's only when you don't follow Jesus that it begins to analyze you. It hears the name Jesus, but it doesn't see Jesus. That's why it says, Jesus I know. Paul I know. What is he saying? He's saying this, you are uttering a name, but I don't see the image. Lorsque tu confesses le nom If de I can only see Jesus, I will respond. But you, I'm still seeing sons of scabbard. <laughs> when you call out the name, Lorsque the spiritual realm Jésus, opens and you change faces. Spirituel s'ouvre et vous changez de face, de visage. <laughs> I can be in any location. Je and peux. God can just wake me up from anywhere. This is happening. Do it now. Correct this. Fix this. I, I don't, if, 2 a.m., 1 a.m., 4, it doesn't matter. Just like wake up now. Do this now. And if I don't, I can give you a tip, a physical tip. You know, what's happening? I've made a choice. I don't dream being chased around. I have the ability to enter a dream of choice. And if I find myself in a dream I don't like, I can come out. Literally tell myself, wake up, start again. I restart. You, all night, just being chased. Le prophète parle de son habilité de ne pas faire des mauvais rêves. Il a la God, capacité d'en sortir. I have a nightmare every si night, nightmare. They are coming in the night to kill me. Uh -huh. One day, you just wake up like, nope, no, it's not happening. I told you my, my story where I used to run away from something every night. Until I said, no. And that night, I decided to turn around and looked at it coming like this. I said, now it's your turn to run. Immediately, it turned. I had a very nice time. Just chasing. I didn't even want to catch it. Just chasing. For the last two weeks, you've been chasing me. I'm chasing you now. Somebody under the influence of my voice. You are succeeding beyond measure. You are pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Capacities are being measured to you. Les capacités vous sont données. The devil will not catch you. Le diable ne t'attrapera pas. You are not ignorant of his devices. Tu n'es pas ignorant de ses. And around the world, something is taking place right now. Et partout dans le monde, quelque chose se passe. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Je décrète et je déclare. Your increase shall be seen. Ton augmentation. Your popularity shall be seen in the realm of the spirit. Ton profit sera vu dans le monde. You shall be popular in the realm of the spirit. Tu seras populaire dans le monde spirituel. You shall be great in the realm of the spirit. Tu seras grand dans le monde spirituel. All over this room, all over this room, all over this room, all over this room. Dans ce chambre, dans ce dans cette chambre. Among the immortals. Vous serez populaire. And I'm among mortals. You shall be a high name. You shall have a high name. A big name. Vous aurez un grand nom. Mareke Kukoje. Supernatural power of the believer.
discover the secrets to growing in the five dimensions of God's power. Order your copy of this best-selling book with over 100,000 copies sold by Hubert Angel from the Amazon Kindle Store or visit our online shop at www.hubertangel.org. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with Hubert Angel, please visit www.hubertangel.org. Sister, don't worry about hmm? Don't worry about it. The Lord is about to do something over your life. There are changes that will come to you. Changes that will take place. I saw you standing and finances were being loaded to you. And the Lord ministered to me that in her generation, there's nobody she can point to and say, that one is prosperous in our nation, in our, in our family. That one is prosperous in our, is in our no family. One, no one. Of God, is Everyone no is waiting for her to actually bring out something. Oh, yes. You know, you are, you are good. You have got a cousin, a brother, a this, a this. That is actually making it. This one doesn't have. If she doesn't come out herself, she will never Very true. Very true. rise. And I saw the Lord say, do not worry. I'm already taking care of you. I saw things being given to you. Angels, as I was moving by, angels were coming here and were loitering around. I said, what are the angels doing? Imagine, I stood here and I began to see three eggs. And the angels brought three eggs and said, these are your three children. Three, three, got and the Lord ministered to me. Huh? What did she say? Three kids. Yes. yes. I, I saw three kids there. And when the eggs were laid before me, it was thought they were being hatched one by one. And I began to see them as they were. I saw two boys. I saw one girl. Very true. I have two boys and one girl. Maliko Jin Mahan Kahis. And the Lord said, sister, you have, tri- you have struggled. Even sometimes you, you stand like this, you think, why am I asleep? You won't even find sleep thinking, how am I going to come out of the things that I need to come out of? And you have believed the prophets of God. Oh, yes. And you know this is real. The I prophetic know. is real. I know you my you actually have been warned a lot of times, don't attend these prophetic people. They lie to you. They, uh-huh. This is your time. I receive, I receive. <laughs> This is your time. I begin to see capacities being measured to you. And the Lord said, where you could not find peace, you shall find peace. Are you hearing this? Where you could not find peace, you shall find peace. In fact, what is the name of your daughter? Shalom. Peace. Yes, sir. Now, Capacities will be measured to you. So the Lord said, Give Ole. Ole. Ole Boheng is my name. Huh? Ole Boheng. Ole Boheng. Yes, it's my name. <laughs> because, you see, sometimes. We move with these, these mantles and we just give people. And people are thinking, oh, are you just giving me? No. We know the name it should go to. Give it to this one. Give it to this one. Give it to this one. By fire! And by... I saw the enemy was trying to cancel everyone in the family. Don't worry about her. Leave her. She hears me trying to cancel everyone in the family and it is not going to happen. You standing next to her, I move to here. You, you standing next to her, come. 
यू कम पेलुश किला है इनका इरुचे मैन कवलेट को उसका द लॉर्ड मिनिस्टर टू मी नॉट इन योर फैमिली all you have wanted to do was to prove to people that god is real that's true and as much as she's young like this yes. she's trying to go and convince other people that god exists yes that's true i started off with she's even praying god use me in miracles yes. let me do this let me do this and she tells people i will be moving around the world i will preach this thing i will do this i will do this that's true. Huh? i started off with saying with my best friend you were what my best friend in school i've started off by telling her all the miracles all the um, do you see what i'm talking about now she's even telling people now she says i'm i'm telling them about prophecies but the lord minister to me it is as though the enemy would try to mess you up even you sickness you i'm talking about you my sister i've come back you the enemy would try to even mess you up with your system same thing here same thing here the enemy is trying to steal your joy yes. but peace is restored and healing is restored to you yeah this capacity here this area here i'm saying this area here huh that's true um i haven't been receiving my period for the last 5 months for the last 5 months no periods and sometimes it's painful it's about to it's like the period is about to come but it never comes huh that's true yeah. mm-hmm. she's just confirming what you have said she said mine are so heavy periods that they hurt all the time is it when it's the time sir 100% true sir 100% true listen i keep telling you never let your peer be bigger than your production in spirit embers you get what is written on the tin fourteen grams fat and then you go in there and there is nothing I decree and declare. <laughs> so now, listen, sister. God is about to start it. Don't cry, don't worry. She is even crying now. She's crying. You know when when you see this is real. You can't fake these tears no matter who you are. You can't. Where can you get them? Now, I want to t- to tell you something. God will use you. Amen. You see this here? This is a capacity measure to you. Amen. This whole thing will, you will be like ah I'm not my periods are back. You will see now. I receive, I receive. I receive. Do you see the grace of God that some some cry that stop the period. Someone is like I need to, to <laughs> it's not happening for me. I want to have my period. Someone like no 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 just stop them. Desires are different in life. Sometimes you just need to learn this is the way it is or this is the way it is. I will do this. But listen to me. Just right here. It will be fixed in a few minutes. Amen. I see. I see. Put it here. Let's put it here. This is real time. <laughs> Now when you see something. Oh, look at you guys. What kind of a man will say this one is fixed now in a few seconds you will see. Amen. Now here. Hear well and hear me well. I saw like it was like a H A like has. Hasty. Has. That's my name. Huh? Hasty, that's my name. That's your name, prophet. That's your name. And as the Lord was showing me something, he took two eggs and put them in my hands, and he broke them, and two girls came out. I have two girls, two sisters, one sister. So you are just two, yeah. two girls in your family. Yes. But I saw the Lord saying, "Talk to the firstborn." the first girl I'm the first one you are the first one are you are you sisters or friends we are sisters you are friends are sisters. sisters oh sisters okay don't worry this one hmm? not this one this one there's no marriage here It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. And listen to me. Yes. 
carefully. If I tell you the truth, you will not believe me. Please tell us the truth, uh-uh. Papa. You will leave this church. No, 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 Papa. We are, we are your daughter, Papa. We will never leave this place. Help your sister. Okay. 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 If I tell you the truth, this is why I smile and leave. Tell us the truth, Papa. Tell us, Papa. All the truth. You know why he's persisting? Yes. You have the wrong people. Go deeper, Papa. This is, these are not witches. They are witches. Ah. Uh-uh. I told you. I just told you now. This, I said you have the wrong people affecting you. These are not the real people that are affecting you. Tell us the truth. Ah, yeah. Did I not say it? I'm trying to tell you. I told you. This one is not the one affecting you. You should have said, men of God, tell me the one who is affecting me. Now you say no. Ah. Do you see this lady here? I love this lady. This, this one here. I, I, I love your sister too. <laughs> this one here. Yeah. But I'm trying to help you. Your focus right now is on the wrong witch. <laughs> Let me try to explain to you something. There are other demons that don't just come out. You, you, you saw we read about the Assyrian. Yeah. That one does not just disappear. No. no. That one you can't bind it in church. <laughs> there are entities that are actually sent to that demon. Like this one can only deal with that one. You're trying to cast out and end it out. Out. And then it is just looking at you like, mm, you don't know your level. <laughs> You think the king of Persia, Daniel the prophet was on 21 days. Do you know what he was trying to understand? Just a prophecy. It wasn't, listen, it wasn't that the king of Persia, the prince of Persia was binding people. No! He said, I set to understand the words of prophecy. That's all. He just sat with a book like this. He said, ha, I don't understand this prophecy. Let me fast and pray. First day, nothing happened. Second day. He didn't declare it when one day fast like other pastors. He just went until it was delivered. So he never thought it was going to be 20 days. He went one day. Nothing had came. Two days, nothing came. Until he got to 21. Information only. Got Gabriel to be stopped. King. No, he's a prince of Persia. He's not even the king himself. There are demons you can only deliver after you hear their name. That's why even Jesus, the son of God, said, what's your name? He knew this one, you don't say out. He says, and he cast out the evil spirit. And he cast out the evil spirit. Only when he came to Legion, he said, who are you? He knew this is a territory. This one controlled everyone, including the market, the buyers, everyone. That to the point that when he cast out the demons, they went into the pigs. Because it is in that region that they sell pigs for food, for money, as business. And they ran. He says, the people who sell pigs again, they were confused. Like, what are you doing? Get out of our town. You're messing up business protocol. (laughs) So when your family is affected by, like that family, you have to have the right problem. This one is not the one affecting you. So please, hear me well. These are not the ones directly linked to your problem. I'm not, thank you so much. She said, I repent. Thank you. I repent. You, you know, I don't know these people. Okay, so I will not defend them for anything. Imagine if somebody who is stealing from you is as your blood. Imagine. Oh, they didn't get it. No, I get it. I get it, ah. Papa. Are oh, you getting what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And then the devil will make you leave that one and focus on someone else and say, this one is the one affecting us. So, you, yes, it doesn't mean say they like you. You getting it? Just them not liking you, them hating you one or two things. It doesn't mean they are bewitching you. Now you will focus on the wrong one. The whole family will focus on the wrong one. And imagine your prayers are going against that one. I bind him. I bind. Totally true, Papa. (laughs) Now imagine you do months, nothing. We were all focusing on these people. 
You were all focusing on these people. I repent for my family as well. This woman is, is really a Christian. She said, I repent for, for my family. She said, the whole family were focusing on one. Did I say that those people are good? Never. Never said that. But if they are not the ones bewitching you, don't fight them. Yeah. You are fighting the wind, fighting the air. <laughs> and after five days of fasting, two days of fasting against that person, that person, no, no effect. Because they are not doing anything to you. They have their own enemies. They haven't even touched you. They have not touched you. They are just hearing by rumor that these people are thinking it's you. Prophet, uh. they are actually confirming they fasted for five days for these people and nothing happened to them. <laughs> the entire family said fasted for five days. You, you know you can call a prayer. <laughs> Imagine five days. This, this lady here, I know this lady and that lady, but this one will fast, pray, pray. You can travel to Kenya. You can even go to Kenya. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you here? Yes. Yes. All this, you can go anywhere. While you are there, you are in pray. You can do whatever. But the Spirit of the Lord, <laughs> when the Spirit reveals, Amen. the Spirit reveals. 